Hello, everyone. What's going on? Hey, Riot, Violet, <clears throat> and we have Wallace and Lena, Wheezy, Nerd Fart. Good to see you, Jordan. Hi, everyone. Hi, Kema. Hi, Elder. So good to see you today. Thank you so much for stopping on in. I hope everyone is having the most beautiful day today. <clears throat> what is happening? Hello. <clears throat> Happy Friday. I'm so glad to see you. Hi, Lilary. How are you? Welcome on in. Kemba, hello. You guys ready for a nice, cozy Friday afternoon stream today? I certainly am. Oh, you just woke up from a nap. Ah, nice. What a nice surprise. Hi, <laughs> I really hope that your uh, your nap went well, though. So good to have you. Hi, Cinna. Hi, Kyle. Kyle, welcome back. How are you doing? Thank you so stinking much. Oh, my God. 30 months. I hope that you are well, Kyle. Thank you so much for stopping on by. How are you doing? Phoebes? Oh, my goodness. Kyle, thank you for being so sweet. You are such an angel. I love you. How are you doing today? Oh, my goodness. Hello, everyone. Hi, nerd. I hope that your day at work goes well. If I miss you uh, leaving, I hope that your day goes amazing. I hope your shift goes smoothly. Hi. Hi, Sina. I hope you're doing well. Welcome on in. Uh, it is a good Friday today, you guys. The sound alerts are doubled. Uh, are they? Are they? <clears throat> Oh, I have. Oh, I had a different window open on accident. I forgot to close it. It was a stream lab or stream elements thingy. I had it open. Violet, thank you for the 90 bitties. I appreciate you. You're not crazy. They were doubled. I had like a test window open for stream elements because I was changing the hidden gifted sub alert from yesterday. And then I left it open and it like played it <laughs> on there too. Aw, yes, I hope my, you hope my day gets better. Thank you. It was uh, a lot of frustrating things going on and I'm just like, eh, like the overstimula um, overstimulation, you know? But I am doing a lot better now. Oh, <laughs> you weren't crazy though, Kemma. Thank you guys for pointing it out because I wouldn't have noticed. I was like, did I mess something up somewhere? I remembered, but also, yeah, you remembered. Ah, <laughs> I remembered. You're worked out, but heading home soon. I hope that your, uh, that, I hope that I hope your trip goes home. Uh, that. Oh my God, let me try it again. I hope that your trip home goes well. <laughs> there you go. Yay! Early Friday stream. I'm so stinking excited. So guys, I don't know what day I'm gonna do, but I will be. Um, I've been thinking about it for a long time. And kind of like in a blessing and in, uh, in disguise, I guess I've streamed a lot of afternoons this this last couple weeks. As you guys know, um, I'm going to switch one weekday. I don't know what day yet. One weekday to an afternoon stream. So we'll do Sundays on afternoon and then there's going to be like another day. I don't know which day it's going to be, but I'll figure it out. Maybe it'll be like Wednesday or Thursday or something, but <clears throat> we'll see. Hi, Tank. How are you? I'm so glad to see you today. How are you doing? I don't know if I should play Assassin's Creed or watch Zeph and play Sims. Oh, that's a hard one, Lilary. Follow your heart. Follow your heart. Whatever you're feeling. Hi, Mari. How are you? Welcome on in. I'm so glad to meet you. How are you doing? I'm also done with a new shell, but I'm not going to upload it yet because creativity. Oh, right. Like, are you just going to keep like chipping away at it? Hi, Molly. Welcome back. I'm so glad to have you. Pay. Hey, so you said I finished. Um, you finished. What is it? Where is the thing? Oh, my God. That uh, I finished my classes for the day and now I'm working. Oh, that's so good. Your stream will keep you company. So thanks. Pay. Hey, thanks for letting me keep you company. How are you? Also, hi, Pars. Welcome on back. So good to have you. Woo. So uh, I had a big overstimulation morning, but I'm feeling a lot better. I was like real overstimulated. On a Friday in this economy? That's what I'm saying. Tawny, I will be switching at least one weekday stream. So like my one of my Monday through Thursday days to a an afternoon day. I don't know what one yet, but this last week, 
kind of, I was like, oh my God, I really like streaming in the afternoons, you know? So I, I don't know what day I'm going to pick yet. I'll have to think about it a little bit. But um, starting this starting in October, I'm going to pick a day and then I'm just going to roll with it. So it'll be Sundays and an afternoon day and then like one other day, I think. Oh, my God. And iced coffee. Yes, I know. I was having like a really bad, like a really bad morning. So then I'm like, Argh. I'm going to find every reason to get an iced coffee. I swear. Any excuse under the books. Aw, oh, Molly, thank you. You look so beautiful today. I appreciate the compliment. I think at this point, I like icing on the cake from Debug, Clutter, etc. Yes. Oh my God. It's kind of like you just keep adding to it, like keep removing and like you get a whole month to just think about it. That's exciting. I know the green screen straw. Isn't it fun? And basically magic. <laughs> I'm happy you found the afternoon streams. Y'all y'all here for you whenever and whatever day you stream. Thank you so much. And you guys are amazing. I really love that. And I think it'll be nice. Like Sundays kind of gives me an evening to be with Michael. And then if I stream like a, a weekday afternoon, then it'll kind of give me like that evening to work on more things like for YouTube and stuff and just feel more focused. I don't know how to put it, you know? Yeah, but I think it'll be a nice flow, especially when I kind of like get into things and I'm excited for that. So baby Alice has started rolling from her back to her tummy. Oh my God, stop. But like also, oh my God, but also stop. No, babies are so fun though. Ah, Kanashi, yes, I know. Plus it'll give us the opportunity to hang out with some of you guys during the day when you're working. And then it'll also give you the opportunity to do some things um, like, if you live in a different time zone, it'll be a lot better there. So it's kind of a balance and plus like YouTube stuff. So hi, Molly. How you doing? Good to see you. Give you a good winky today. Wait, <laughs> could you wink? <laughs> I gave you a wink today, Molly. Um, she's only three months. Why stop growing? I know only three months and she's already like rolling from her back to her tummy. Oh, my God. I love to say it for a wink. I love it. <laughs> Hi, Bugs. Oh, my God. Your daughter is learning how to crawl on her own. Oh, my God. That's so fun. I love that. Oh, better tack everything down. She's mobile. Oh, my God. Going to get into everything. <laughs> Babies are so busy. Hi, Mad. How are you? Welcome back. I'm so glad to see you. I hope you're having a good day. Thanks for stopping by. I know, Bugs. I think that's amazing. I love that. It's really funny when babies start to crawl or right before they start to crawl. I don't know if like all babies do this, but like when they just start like rocking. <clears throat> Aw, <laughs> it's so cute. I remember Charlotte would do that and she'd basically just start like rocking or whatever. She'd be like on her knees and stuff, but like she was just, I don't know, not like moving her arms to crawl, but just, <laughs> it was so funny. Um, <clears throat> I'm great today. Oh, even being so cold here. I'm so sorry that it's cold. My day started off rough, but I get to hang out with you guys. So I just know that my day is going to come off and uh, end really well because of you. I'm excited to play some Sims, of course. We're going to work on our save file. I'm excited. Hi, RJ. Welcome on in. I'm so glad to see you today. Hope you're having a good one. Thanks so much for stopping on in. How is everyone's Friday afternoon so far, though? Or evening, depending on whatever time zone that you're in. I hope our South Carolina beans and surrounding city areas are staying safe and dry. That's true, right? My friend Maddie, who lives in South Carolina, um, they're getting like a lot of a lot of really heavy rain, and she's like a greyhound. And she had to like put him in his raincoat and shove him out the door before it got worse. <laughs> go to the bathroom hey rj thank you so stinking much for three months look at that i really appreciate you thank you for choosing to use your prime subby here that is so wonderful thank you thank you thank you welcome on back oh my goodness look at oh your badge too you got a new badge i always i don't know about you guys but i always get excited when you guys get new badges because like i get excited when i get new badges on other channels Right now they have like the base one, two months, three months, six months, nine months, and like a year. They added like two months and they added the two month badge, which I really like. Aw, doing good. Atlanta spending the afternoon crafting a presentation for the Y. 
for why the project I've been working on for months is actually worth it. Oh wait, really worth implementing? Nice, Senna, oh my God, I know you're going to kill it. Persuade me, let's go. I love that. <laughs> I'm super excited for you though. Lilari wants a burn. Mm. Just super rainy, ah. Uh, so like super rainy and windy, I suppose. Like, is there like, is it just like a tropical storm right now? Or like what? Is it like a, a hurricane still? Like, I don't know. I haven't been following it since I passed Florida pretty much. Hi, Mystic. How are you? Welcome on in. Hi, Lace. So good to see you. You're going to be so persuasive. I know you are. So persuasive. Oh, a cat one. Okay. See, that's still, you know, it's still a hurricane. That's still pretty scary. But hopefully it won't bring like a lot of rain or anything like that. <clears throat> so I have to do a burn for Lilari. Hmm. What are we going to do, you guys? Peyton, shut the front door. Oh, my God. Shut the front door. Thank you for 18 months, Peyton. How are you doing today? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Thank you so much. How are you doing? Welcome back, my friend. So good to have you. Lilari, this is for you. If laughter is the best medicine, then your face must be curing the world. <laughs> Bugs. <laughs> Lilari, I'm sorry. Mm. <clears throat> Bugs, you're so fake. Barbie's jealous. <laughs> Nature escaping. Oh, mowing yards. That's so exciting. Uh, no work today. Nice. Nice. I hope that you enjoy your day. Hi, Janie. How are you? Welcome on in. I saw the slurp uh, had been louder, which is like, wait, I got to get my straw like. <laughs> hey, just here. Thank you. I had my hair exactly like uh, like until your brain surgery. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Thank you so much. I hope that you can get your hair to. Um, the way that you want it and everything after your healing journey. I'm sorry you're having such a rough morning. Thank you, Pars. I appreciate it. Oh, but we're good. I'm hanging out with you guys today, this afternoon. You guys always make my day so much better. Always, always. I can't think of a time when you didn't. A National Day for Truth and Reconciliation for Indigenous folks here in Canada today. Really? Really? Do we I don't do we have anything like that um in the United States? I don't know. That's really cool though, Mel. Is it like a, um, oh my goodness, we don't? Okay, hmm. I love that though. Oh my goodness, I love that uh, Canada takes the time to observe that. Hello, Angela. I hope that you're having a good day. Welcome back. So good to have you. The days when you just want to shave your hair off, right? I feel that. Some days, you know, I'm like, I'm over diffusing this. We have Indigenous Peoples Day, formerly Christopher Columbus Day. I'm so glad that they renamed it Indigenous Peoples Day. That is the one thing. I'm like, yes, this is very good. Very good, yes. Very amazing. I love this. <clears throat> Me, we're ta uh, taking your box braids out. Aw, <laughs> Molly. <laughs> Molly's like, this would be so much easier if I would just shave it off. I feel you. I should make, uh, should I make spaghetti or chicken sandwiches for dinner tonight? Ooh, I, I'm, I'm team spaghetti. I don't know about you. Spaghetti is always delicious and it's really good leftover too. Um, doing the save or doing create a sim? Uh, it depends on, I'm probably going to end up like working on a house because I'm like in a building mood and stuff like that. Oh, by the way, speaking of building, um, oops, hold on. We have a shell challenge that I just posted. This one is Halloween themed. Um, we have the 19th and the 20th is when this one is due. So if you want to go ahead and get that, give that a whirl, you can do so now. Hi, Teeny Fart, how are you doing today? Yes, Molly, we finished the Garlic Mansion. Oh my goodness. And we even finished a different one. We finished two. Let me show you. Let me show you. As soon as it'll let me. Oh my God, Teeny, I'm excited. What, Shell? Yes, it's a brand spanking new one. It's Halloween themed. It's hashtag Zeph Trick Treat. 
is what it is. So all things Halloween. Working on it now. Nice, Jordan. I'm excited for you. I'm glad that you're working on it. That's amazing. I fed my sourdough starter day five of raising a new baby and started the dishwasher. Currently debating going out to errands. <laughs> nice. That's exciting, Angela. I hope you enjoy. Oh, so yeah, we finished the garlic clouture place. Garlic clatter, clouder? I don't know, garlic clouder? I think, I don't know, garlic clouder. I think it's garlic clouder. But um, this one is like a complete renovation. It's 61,000 simoleons. And then we also have this magic starter home. This one is the renovation of the one that was in uh, Glimmerbrook. So that's what she looks like. Such an interesting shape, start, uh, started on it last night. It's very weird. Like the bottom is almost like a Y shape. Isn't it? So like the new, uh, the new thing. Happy birthday, by the way, Janie. How are you doing? I hope you have a good day. Um, hopefully you won't lose a lot of excess hair. Not to scare you anything, as I always put hair in a bun and low pony. Aw. <laughs> that roofing, though. I know. Thank you. I'm so glad you like it, Simma. So uh, when like all of the the magical themed builds. I really wanted to do things that are like really like whimsical and flowy. I don't know how to put it, but just not straight like me. <laughs> the roofing should be terrifying. Oh, I know on the on the current shell challenge, I think the roofing is going to be awful. Oh, my God. Time to play Sims 4 and do the shell. Yes, Lilary. Oh, my God. It's a hard one because there's like an angled piece, but you can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. You have like a whole month. Take your time on it or not. I'm not your mom. LGBTQ plus roof. We love that for ourselves, don't we? We love that. <laughs> Lilary, good luck. I, I'm wishing you luck. But I am so glad to see you babies today. By the way, if those of you guys who have, um, ooh, I posted an ooh yesterday in case you guys want to check that out as well. Uh, let me get myself all logged in in just a second here. Um, I asked you guys to show me your favorite Sims 4 build on Ooh. So you can give me kind of like a quick little like virtual tour kind of thing if you want to. I'd love that. Thank you. It would literally be my first ever shell. Yes. You suck at shell challenges. They can be really hard because like you can't move them at all, you know? Yes, Kanashi. Those ones were the the hill challenge ones. Hi, Lindsay. Thank you. Thank you for the head pat. I appreciate that. That's really nice of you. What are the rules, though? Basically, the rules are don't touch my walls. You can add like decks. You can draw floor plans inside so you can like draw your rooms. So like any existing walls, you cannot change. However, you can change the height of them. So if you want like taller walls, whatever, you can do that. Um, you can roof it, you can add platforms, you can do anything, but just don't move my walls. That's it. Um, that's the rule. <laughs> uh, you can't add anything to the exterior, though, like onto it, but you can make like a different building. As long as it's detached half this way through my belt. Oh, my God. Wait, are you wait a modern Victorian house style, a modern Victorian house style? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. We have to do some Googling. Modern Victorian. I like classic Victorians, obviously. All right. A modern Victorian house. A home that blend parts of the Victorian area with bits of the modern day. Okay. All right. I wonder if there's any, like, exact examples. Like, obviously, oh, my God, I love, like, the open staircase with all the photos and stuff. Like, is this more of an interior thing or is it more of like an exterior sort of thing? Exterior. Research time, right? Victorian architecture with modern furniture. Maybe. Molly, I think that's probably what it'd be like. Oh, okay. Yes, Molly, I think you nailed it. See, this is like more of a modern chandelier, but it still has like a little bit of like Victorian flair to it. I can totally see that. Oh, my God. 
Okay. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Look, I Molly, I think you pretty much nailed it though. Like it's a uh, trick. Oh my God, I love that door. That is so pretty. Look at the mirror. And like behind me, there's like a little chair. Look at the floor. See the floor. Oh my God. Oh my God. You'll post the picture you found? Yeah, please do. Oh no, that's a lot of fun. I love the fun pops of color in here. Guessing the renovated Victoria may be modern materials because historic restoration is money. Yes, seriously. I would try to keep like certain flare pieces, you know, but like I agree with you like to truly, truly renovate it or restore it is hard. Oh my God, the crown molding. It's an other. You said, give me just a sec. Other photos. Oh. Okay. That's really cool. Okay. So, a lot. Ooh. I definitely see what you mean. Hi, SimSap. Welcome on in. So glad to see you today. Right? Gotta love some herringbone. That's what I'm saying. I know that's really cute. Look at how sweet that is. I know that's adorable. I love the windows, like with the black, um, you know, it looks modern, but Victorian, like it has like still like the same shape, but then like the windows and then like the garage and stuff and just like the general feel of the house. It's a lot more modern. Old, 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 like it's painted like a suburban house, but it's shaped like a Victorian. And then the windows are very modern. Own an old Victorian. I'd replace the whole uh, the horsehair plaster walls. Yes, seriously. Um, my house has like about 80% plaster and about 20% drywall and plaster is a nightmare if you don't use it properly. Hi, Bobo. How are you? Welcome on in. If I own a Victorian home, right? There was this Victorian house that we were looking like I didn't we didn't look at, but I wanted to look at it. But then I also know how much of a time like a, a money sink they can be, especially if you want to like renovate them. Um, there was a house for like $90,000 on the Iowa side of the river. And it was like a really big Victorian house. But I'm like, OK, why is it 90000 It looked really pretty. I think I even showed it here. Like I pulled up the Zillow like posting and everything and I showed it to you guys. Hi, Fedra. Welcome back. I'm so glad to see you today. How you doing? Hi, Mary. Welcome on in. So good to see you today. I own a Victorian home. I'd be the happiest girl in the world. Yeah. And I'm like, but why is this $90,000? It was really sus. And I think it still had like the, the radiator heating and stuff. My dream home was for sale in one point in my town. And it was so tempted to buy it, but I had so many issues because of how old it was. Oh, Bugs Cooper is not here right now. Cooper is not here. I'm sorry. We will redeem your point or uh, give your points back to you. Taylor, thank you so much. Welcome on in for 17 months. I really, really appreciate you. Thank you so much for coming on by. How are you doing today? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you're doing well. Oh my God. I'm glad to be, uh, miss your beautiful voice. Aw, Crimson, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you so much for stopping by. My dream home for sale at one point in my town. Oh my God. I was tempted to buy it, but there's so many issues because of how old it was. Oh, there's a female cardinal. Hi, Grandma. A fee There's like a card, uh, a, like a male and a female cardinal that live right in this tree right outside of my office. And they're always like super flamboyant. <laughs> I always say, hi, grandma. It's the it's the girl right now. She's just fluttering around. They're so cute. <laughs> um, I'm fine. Um, It's been some time because of work now I'm back. Oh, my God. I hope you've been taking care of yourself, though. I'm so glad to see you. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. Um, so you said, oh my gosh, what'd you say again? So Bobo said I had a, my Sim had a baby. No idea how she's getting, uh, getting around. I wasn't playing. What? <laughs> That's so crazy. Horsehair walls. Yes. Horsehair plaster is quite what it sounds like. So basically like horsehair plaster is different from like drywall. Drywall, you'll have like your beams that go here and then you put like the drywall over, you know, your insulation, all that kind of stuff. Horsehair plaster, you have your beams that go like this. 
you know, usually in this day and age, I think they're 16 inches apart or 14 or something like that. Um, and then they have like these half inch slats by like two inch. So they're like slats that that go all the way across like this way, like horizontally like this. And then they mix horse hair with the, back in like the early 1900s. They mixed horse hair with plaster and then they'd use it to plaster the walls. It's really prone to like cracking and crumbling and stuff if you don't. Yeah, almost like a shiplap style thing. It's really thin. Um, and then they slather the plaster like over that. And it's if if it's not maintained properly or if you try to mount things improperly into it, then it can like crack. It can crumble. It can do all stuff. But like ours have been renovated and like they really nicely smooth everything out. You can't even see like the, the wobbliness in it because it can be like really it can be really uneven sometimes. Um, but yeah, that's horsehair plaster. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. It's real horsehair. Um, it's crazy Furby. I guess horsehair plaster though. My the house I grew up in is in horsehair. We never al were allowed to hang anything on the walls. Yes. Like if you don't do it right, it can be really bad. <laughs> it can like crack and like dip out and stuff and, and everything. But anything beyond like a certain weight point, you have to get special like mounting things. And that's why we like it took me so long to get my monitors mounted and stuff because this wall behind my monitors are pl is plaster. It's so, like we had to get like a big board. Like a, a four foot by like one foot board across the back and then we bolted it into the studs and then we mounted the, the monitors into the board. So it like distributed the, the weight a little bit. So I painted the board and stuff. Um, <clears throat> Hi, Lish. How are you? Happy beans. Um, happy to be able to watch while I get my fusion. A refreshing distraction takes eight hours of sitting in a chair. We're rooting for you. I can't wait to keep you company. I'll be on for at least six hours today. So we're going to be here for you. Yes, it was just a nickname. Nope, it was it's actual like horse hair that they would use. Oh, did you redeem a burn, Janie? Did you redeem a burn? Ads are going to play in about 15 seconds and I can't pause them, but I'll be right back and I promise to burn you. I'll be back in just a few. So guys, we're going to pick a house to renovate here for our save file. Um, So I'll be right back. I love you. Thank you for hanging out. And thank you for your support. And I'll be back in just a few. Um, Lish, I'm so glad to see you. Um, enough money to buy a restore Victorian. I think I would rather build from scratch. Yes, Angela. I think I would rather do the same thing as well. I would if I that honestly, OK, I, um, I don't foresee myself ever being able to do this because holy crap, it costs a lot of money and it's just not. No, <laughs> it's probably never going to happen. Um, I want to build a house from scratch and I think I would either make it I would probably do like a Victorian flair sort of house. I would do something like that or I would do like a almost like a mid-century modern style like vibe kind of thing. You want a tiny house? Aww. <laughs> I know a tiny house would be really fun though. I would love that. Oh, finishing my point and watching you. Nice. I'm excited. Brick with gingerbread. Wait, brick with gingerbread? Wait, what do you mean? Brick with gingerbread. I know this is like a term for like a certain type of siding, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see what you mean. Like the gingerbread, like the little swirly, whirly stuff, the, the molding. OK. Gingerbread trim. Now that is big brain. See, it looks like the frosting. I wish that the gurus would give us roof trim that looked like this, you guys. Like where we could have cute little things like this. Wouldn't that be so cool if the if the devs would like make that for us? Love the same. Uh, I'd love the same flannel, but Christmas tartan. Yes, right. I want to I know I want to eat the trim. Same. Now, when you look at Victorian house houses, you can be like, I want to eat that house. And they'll be like, what? What are you talking about? 
like, what are you doing? <laughs> um, I got to take the trash out, so I'll do that while ads run. All right, see you soon, Violet. So Janie, did you have a burn? Did Janie had a burn? Or was it a, I think it was a burn. I hope it was a burn. I have roof decor CC, but like that is, but it's CC. Oh man, you know, so you know it's possible. You know it's possible, you know they can do it. <laughs> a birthday burn for Janie. Hmm. You had redeemed a birthday burn. Janie requires it. <laughs> Janie, sometimes I just don't have the time nor the crayons to explain things to you. It's fine. <laughs> Janie. <laughs> Janie, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, yes, it's Janie's birthday today. Okay, but like, honestly, if you were a crayon color, what color would you be? Real talk. I have to ask the important questions here. I think she burnt you right up. Aw. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, y'all. Are we freaking ready to pick a house to work on? Hi, Eve. How are you? Welcome on in. I'm kind of feeling something like magical or something like kind of whimsical because I'm in the mood for that. Also, because we just completed this one. Teal. Oh, you'd be teal. I think I don't know. I think I'd be like a golden yellow or like an orange color. Dark green for pars. <laughs> I, I actually love crayons, like no hate on crayons or purple mountains majesty. That's so specific. I love it. I love this. Oh, Eve, did you really start with the shell challenge? Yes. Are you getting in the mood for the for the magicalness? White because I'm mostly oh. <laughs> white because I'm almost useless. Oh my gosh. So, so. Um, not when it comes to certain colors of construction paper, then you have a very distinct purpose. Hi, Franco. How the heck are you? Welcome to the bean garden. Nice to meet you. Oh, yellow or light pink. I love that pinkle fish. Do you remember the tickle me Elmo color? Or tickle me pink. I think they called it tickle me pink, but in like a Sesame Street edition, they did the tickle me Elmo. Um, macaroni and cheese is such a strange color. It is. The mac and cheese is like this weird orangey yellow color and it's so specific. Magical spooky, uh, spooky, wolfy and weird. I love it. That's so perfect. Oh my God. So guys, we're going to do a renovation of one of these magical houses, I think. Uh, Sh uh, Cheyenne, uh, is it Cheyenne? I've been working on this for, oh my God, probably like a month and a half to two months at most, I think. Um, So we have, we've came a long way, but oh my God, we have a long way to go still. A long way to go. I couldn't even tell you how many builds we've like made. But yeah, hi Cheyenne, I'm so glad to have you. A lot of the builds that I have completed are up on the gallery though. So if you want to check those out and all of the Sims that live in those specific houses, we've also given like um, makeovers to as well. Holographic shifting crayon because I want to be all the colors. That's fair. Holographic crayons are always really fun or the glitter crayons. But we've made a handful. So I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if you count these apartments, 10, 11, but those ones can't really like go into the things for some reason. Oh my God. Aw, follow along. That's exciting, Shia. Yes. Oh my God. So um, I took a pause on like YouTube uploads for now, Um, but I will be doing speed builds of everything. So I have like all of these builds that we've like finished here on Twitch and then I'll be like editing them down and doing voice voiceovers and eventually uploading them to YouTube and stuff. So um, I have a lot to work on. I, ha I had a lot, but I took a little hiatus from YouTube. But um, oh, 4 a.m. and I'm in a friend's spare room right now. Oh, my God. Did, wait, did you travel very far, Janie? 
<laughs> Did you travel very far? By the way, it is your golden birthday today, isn't it? You started the shell. Yes, Peyton. You're going to spoil us. I can't wait to see it. By the way, if you guys like shell challenges, I do have a shell challenge. It's due October 19th and 20th. So if you guys want to come along for that, we got that too. We got that too. All right. Oh my God. Look at this. Okay. This one actually looks kind of fun to do. Also, why are these houses so big and just blocky? They are just blocky houses. I don't know. Look at how giant this is. 30 to 40 minutes by car. Oh my God. Hey, that's, that's not that bad though. That's a pretty short drive. Bobo. Yes, you'll join. I'm so excited. It's up in the gallery if you want to. If you want to check it on out. All right. So we have actually completed this one. Or we could do the Vitor household too. Right now I'm poking through to see which one kind of like tickles my fancy the most. But I do know that I want to do something from vampires maybe. Or from this is actually not that bad of a house though everything's all this beautiful cream color why is this one not bad okay all right that, that this one's not awful and then they have like this big tower here I probably wouldn't put a staircase there though I'd probably just leave it just for aesthetics you know that one's honestly not bad could be better, but could be worse. EA houses are like horsehair plaster, unwanted. Ooh, and, and really difficult to work with. I know, right? The Vitor house is actually kind of nice. Same with Vlad's house. The Vlad, Vlad's house isn't bad either. What are the ones on the werewolf one with the separate cabin? The one on the werewolf world? I'm not sure I want to work on the werewolf world yet. Maybe. Let's have a peek though. One with a separate cabin. So, like, are you talking way up here for the Volkov one? Because I feel like a lot of the ones where, like, the game changers and stuff, like the content creators made, aren't as bad. They're not, they're good. They're good houses. Um, so I feel like I want to do the EA ones more, if that makes sense. Um, some stuff for you know, work. I'll be back though. All right, Tawny, enjoy. I'll see you soon. Thank you for stopping by. See, there's like a little shed. It's so cute. I love it. It's actually not a bad build, though. I feel bad working on houses that like content creators made because I love the content creators have made these and it feels really weird. Like, oh, my God, <laughs> I don't know how to put it. Does that make sense? I'm like, I'm redoing this. But it, yeah, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Okay, so we can either work on like a vampires one or a realm of magic build. I could also break off and try something maybe in Evergreen Harbor. That's like a completely different direction. Like the Harris household looks pretty terrible. From over here, I haven't actually looked at this house before. Okay, this house is very wide open. But also not bad for the floor plan, honestly. It's kind of cute on the outside. I'd probably try to make this like a cute little suburban house or something because you could see like the style of neighborhood where it is and it kind of fits. It's cohesive with everything else. I don't know. Makes you feel the most uh, better. Most of them have gone back and improved themselves with no fewer, no or fewer restrictions. Ah, see like the pack restrictions will do you in, won't they? That does make sense. The Tinker household. I don't think I've actually looked at this one either. What's this one going to be like? <clears throat> huh. Ooh. It's just empty right here. Interesting. Um, Item count restrictions and no cheats, right? Yes, because they, they have to place things like on the grid, right? Okay, this one is... Interesting. Um, I don't even know what I would do. The world, honestly, Evergreen Harbor is a cute world, though. I think personally, like, I really, really like it. This is interesting. Like, what the heck? I don't know. 
the roofing they did that ah almost the fireplace in the upstairs hallway i know isn't it so weird i know the house is so big for the lot size that's what i feel it's so gigantic like look at it from the from the world view it's so huge there's also a community space that we could do i don't know i'm not really feeling a lot Honestly, except for something from Vampires or like Glimmerbrook at the moment. So I think I'm going to go with this. It's cool to see the creators who worked on these packs going through the process they went through. It's fun to get a little peek what goes into these. Yes, doesn't it? It really does. This build will only be the same file. We're working on the Sims and the stories as well. Um, We are doing the... We're making over the Sims and we're not really doing anything with their stories necessarily, at least at, least at this point, but we are giving them makeovers. We are and we're kind of building their their specific houses wherever they live to like honor that if that checks out so like we did make we were giving them pronouns we gave liberty lee like they she pronouns i think is what we did which world to build it i'm doing a poll right now vampires a realm of magic what kind of build should we do next y'all yes isn't it so fun oh so like we've uh, i kind of i did the spencer kim lewis uh sims but they uh, basically i had to take a little bit of a break on stream um due to like some family things that happened and uh, so yeah i have the spencer kim lewis sims but i have yet to get back into the spencer kim lewis like house so they're all done and these are just random sims and stuff i have to go through my save files and like delete a bunch um because it's a mess uh <laughs> but i've done the bff household i think they look really cute i know their house it was so difficult it was not a nice one to like get back into yet you know but i will be completing it as it is but i just have to kind of like okay get myself into it again i know the spencer kim lewis house is ridiculous i agree it is so big and so blocky and clunky it's just three of the same things stacked on top of each other pretty much it's so hard. Ooh, you guys are thinking about a Realm of Magic build? Okay. It looks like this one's going to win, maybe. But make sure you vote in the poll to let me know if you want to see a Realm of Magic or a Vampires themed build next. Because we just did the Realm of Magic, like, base game. Or not the base game house, but the Realm of Magic uh, starter home. So now... We either have the Charm family or whoever these people are. I can't remember their name, but we have those two to pick from. Cody. Uh, yes, you have the Realm of Magic bar right here. Yeah, I can I can even like show you what this one looks like here. And I realize it's like behind me, but we did the bar. Since this was like a public lot, we I didn't use a limit for money so um this is where we're at with this one uh too big and weird i feel like we could change it and have circular glass windows instead of just being a boring square right yes so i do have some restrictions and some kind of things that i can and cannot do with this but yeah this is the this is this bar here I made it feel more of like a place to get tea or like ale, a place to read a book kind of thing. But yeah. <clears throat> this is where this one is at. I also think that this one accidentally got put in. Like, I feel like that's not like what I meant to do. But eh. I love this build. Thanks, Kanashi. The weatherman. Show us like a weatherman showing us the storms, right? <laughs> so, okay, you guys pick this. So we can do the charm family. So let's go through and look at these first. And I'll give you guys the option to pick. Which house to renovate? I will give us five minutes 
to go ahead here. Let me think. So this is the charm household, I think. Just kidding. Wait, uh, stop. <laughs> Give me a second. I can't remember which one I clicked on. Okay, yes, this is the charm family. And then this one's the amicable acolyte household. So let's start with the charm family. And then I'll let you guys uh, select in the poll to see which one I want to do first. Because we might just complete like the realm. I Oh my God, I still have to do like the realm of magic headquarters after this too. Because I'm just doing like base game in the pack. So this is it. This thing is very blocky, very clunky. So basically like the rules that I have to operate off of are stripping everything down and keeping the walls, the exterior walls, so I can redo like the floor plan and stuff. Um... Uh, yeah, so I'd remove the deck. I take everything down. There's no basement for this one. This is this household. All right, now let's go look at um, Amicable Acolyte. And then those of you guys who want, who want to uh, make your decision then, then you can. It reminds me of something you would see in Lord of the Rings or Spiderwick Chronicles, right? Like, I definitely want to do, like... The, the Realm of Magic world is very much so influenced by, uh, what's it called? Uh, the Lord of the Rings or like World of Warcraft and stuff, stuff that I grew up with. But this is the Amicable Acolyte house. So this is the top floor and the bottom floor. So this one is two stories rather than three. I know I love Lord of the Rings. I don't I don't think I've ever seen like Spiderwick stuff before. Yeah, so which of these would you like to see my take on you guys? So this is again the amicable acolyte house, and then the other one was charm. The charm household. Can't handle the random stairs in the back that I know what I, I think we should leave them. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I agree. Like, what is going on? It's like they meant to put a door here. See, here's my theory. I have a feeling that they had like another door that they put in to the game, but it didn't make it into the pack. So then it just got deleted because it doesn't exist. I have a theory. A gap behind the garden steps. Uh, right here. I don't know. I would just like. <laughs> like, what is going on? Oh, we should do like. A crazy stairs house. So just have like a house full of stairs. I have not played it, Sue. I did download it though. So I bought it and I downloaded it. I have it on my computer. I just haven't played it yet. How are you doing, Sue? What's going on? Hope you're having a good day. If you're stopping in right now, by the way, everybody, my name's Zephyrin. We are currently working on the um picking out if you guys want me to renovate the charm house. And this is the amicable acolyte house right here. Again, you can pick this or we just have like a little bit more time for you to select if you want to. The charm residence and then on the blank lot, I'll be making a ground up build. Um, like one from completely from scratch, and I have not done anything from scratch yet from this for this build. We'll have to pick like a budget and see what I want to do. Like I could do like a second starter home or something. I think they'd be kind of fun. Or maybe like a house that's like a little nicer, maybe like 10,000 simoleons over that, like a 30,000 simoleon house. That'd be pretty cool. But this is the charm household. And what we have at the moment here. So this is very big and wide open. They love to do like big wide open rooms on the top floors. Second floor. And then a third floor. And then they don't have a basement. You know what would be interesting? If I made one of these into like a basement. Like I took it and I put it in the basement. Cause like I can do that with like a normal shell, you know, especially if it's a house like this. I'm almost thinking like Spencer Kim Lewis household. I'm just kidding. I think this is actually okay. These places need cauldron basements, right? I feel like we need to do something somewhere for like a cauldron room. In here, especially since these are arguably like established wizards and stuff, you know, like it feels a little weird that we don't have a cauldron somewhere. I'm feeling it. 
And then I don't think I can get to the other world, but I will be doing, I will be redoing the other one. Are they freaking tied? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What am I supposed to do? You guys, why are you like this? I'm just kidding. Thank you for voting though. Um. Okay, so is it up to me now? Chat, you guys are as indecisive as I am. Oh, you forgot to vote. Oh, what were you guys going to vote for? Christy and Eve, what were you guys going to vote for? I could do spicy dice. Christy was going to vote for the charm house and Eve was going to vote for um, charm house. Okay, so unicorn was going to vote for charm. All right. But charm house. Okay, so like at least four of you guys are gonna pick charm. So I'm gonna say charm one then on that basis. Okay, so charm house, here we go. This is kind of the one that I've been like a little more drawn to at the moment anyway. Rock Ridge Boro Canyon. Where is this? Like, where are they? Here. Oh my God, these Sims need some serious help. I'm just saying. They look a little rough, but we're here to build today. Oh my God, it's raining in this economy. Not today, honey, because I am playing God at the moment. Please. Please. All right. Okay. I'm gonna take her and I'm gonna like teleport her down here. You're gonna come here. You're gonna come here. And then you're also gonna come down here. These Sims need some serious help. Oh my goodness. These townies. I'm actually kind of excited to work on them though. And then she's down there. Let me see if I can actually get her to teleport. There we go. I know this house is going to be a challenge. It really is. All right. I need to load up my thingy so I can actually record for the speed build. But we are going to get our booties moving here. I know the outside is so weird. It is. So I want to make this into like, uh, like a magical Victorian style build, I think, is what I'm thinking. That's where my brain's going, but we'll figure it out. We'll see if this is actually what we're going to do. Here we go. Got my recording going now. Okay, so to begin with this, um, I'm just going to start stripping things down because this is kind of where we're at right now. And that's it. So basically, you just start like clicking and dragging and then here you go. I was getting that weird lag thing, so I stopped that. Except I have to be like really, really, really careful with this here. So like this. Because I can't just like click and drag these because it'll delete walls if I do that. So I just have to do this. I know the outside is so weird. Doesn't it sound so pretty? I'll see if I can pull it off though. So we actually have quite a bit of um of a budget to work with as well. Right here could just start deleting things. Think you can pull it off. Aw, thanks. She gonna be a doozy, but we're gonna we're gonna take care of it. We're gonna do okay. All right, just start deleting my floor plan. 
Um, have any of you guys renovated this house before? My outfit, by the way. Thank you, Willow. I appreciate it. You're so nice. How are you doing today, Willow? So glad to see ya. Thank you a lot for the compliment. I'm feeling very festive and very fall today. Even though it's like 71 degrees Fahrenheit where I'm at, I still, it still has like that fall crispiness in the air, you know? It's kind of how I feel. Same pars. Aww. <laughs> It's not fall weather here, right? Like, it's been pretty cool here, but today is kind of just like one of those random warm days that we'll get. Like in the fall and everything. Just gonna start deleting all of these. And all of you. I might leave it, um, I don't know. I might actually do like, instead of like a full, what, what the heck is it called? A thing. I can't think of what it's called. Um, like a foundation. I might do platforms instead. Hey, Charlie, how the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden. Nice to meet you. How you doing today? I'm really glad to have you. Thanks a lot for being here. We're doing a renovation of this house. This is the Charm Household. Bulldozing the whole build, right? Yes. Yeah, we, we are. We're starting completely fresh with this. Why is this different on the top? That just looks weird to me. You like the basement idea too, right? I'll think about it to see if I want to do that. Like make one of these into a basement. Quality construction concrete. We'll take that. All right, so it looks like we're good on the outside. No, I just have to like kind of start going here. Deleting all my things. Looks like we're completely stripped down. There and here. We have quite the amount of money. You don't have Rana Matt. Uh, Rava is your uh, build or an EA build? This is an EA build. So this is a build that came with a game. Um, I did not make this build. I am renovating it though. So for the save file, I'm basically taking um, everything that EA built or things that came with the packs and then I'm making it into my own. So I'm stripping it all down just like this, as you see right here. And then we're going for it. Okay, so I think I don't want to have a foundation on this. I think I want to do platforms for this because I think it's going to be pretty cool, especially if we have like the tallest walls, because then we can kind of create this idea where it's going to look a lot smaller. I don't know. It's like a shell challenge. Exactly. Eve, that's it. Hi, TMS. How are you? Welcome on in. Okay, guys. So this is like the front of the house as it stands. So one of the rules that we operate off of when we do one of these builds is I can add little pieces to it as long as it doesn't impact like it has to be aesthetic only kind of thing. Like I can add little like one by one rooms or little bump outs and stuff. Um, and if something is like off if it's like supposed to be symmetrical, if it's off by a block, which happened with two builds so far, the Spencer Kim Lewis household and Judith Ward's, I extended that whole thing by one block and then we moved on kind of thing. So like there's little stuff like that that I can do, but for the most part, I'm keeping it pretty vanilla. Like as far as it's, it's looking so far. So like one thing that I can do when I do this is I can take the entire house and I can flip it around if I want to. I mean, the shell doesn't look bad. The decoration was kind of bad, right? Exactly. So this would be really cool to have this like a front kind of thing. And actually one thing that I am going to do really quick, I forgot to like uninstall all my packs. So I'm going to like quit the game and then like uninstall all the packs. So I only have Realm of Magic and base game only. So give me just a sec. I know the bones are actually pretty decent. We're going to see what we can do with it. So let me try. So the way that I do this is I'm using the James Turner, like uh, the disable pack tool, which is really helpful. It's really easy to do. All right. And I've 
uninstalled everything or are you just disabling all of them? I know, right? Like, it's honestly a pretty big house. It is. The shell doesn't look bad. The decorating was bad, right? Like, I can't wait to see what like a little facelift is going to do to this. So I'm thinking I'm going to make it like a really pretty Victorian is what I'm thinking. That's true. James Turner, formerly known as the Sim Supply. Yes, <laughs> I love it when they when they gave him um, like the little invite thing, like the college acceptance thing when university came out. Uh, I think they did something that was like joking about like he got declined or something like that. But it said the Sim Supply on it instead of like James Turner. I can't I think they did something like that to him. Can't remember who lives here. Uh, th this is the Charm family. I'll show you in just a sec. I don't know their names, but they're charming. <laughs> Would you look at that? There's like four Sims at least. I don't know if they're all related or how they're related or if they're like dating, something like that. We have Minerva Charm, Amelia Ernest, Daryl Charm and Gemma Charm. So there's Amelia. I don't know what her association is, but she's here too, basically. All right, we have about 123,000 simoleons. So if you guys have been paying attention, or not paying attention, if you're not sure about all this stuff. Um, hi, AJ, welcome on in. Nice to meet you, by the way. I have about 10,000 simoleons that I can go over if I so choose, but I'm saying within like a certain threshold of things. So I'm thinking that I want to do like a big door, a really big door. And I want to make this like a really cool Victorian. So I'm thinking about maybe doing, oh, AJ, you forgot to follow yesterday. Well, thank you so much for coming by. I appreciate that. I'm so glad you found us again. Thank you. How are you? I hope you're having a good day. So I think I want to do a platform in here. I don't know how. Um, I want it to be like our porch. That's all I know. Um, but I want it to be like our cute little Victorian house. And I'm thinking about doing like some sort of like a big wraparound porch deal. And I think the best way for me to possibly do this would be like with the medium or even like the larger. No, that's too big. See this one? It's like the medium sized one. This one's technically a deck, but I can do that. I want to do this. The, uh, one of their descendants married the Gen 4 hair in your air in your legacy challenge. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like it when the townies kind of like, you know, mingle and stuff like that. That's cute. So this is where my brain's at at the moment. I'm going to try to like slap a roof on this and see what I can do. I'm clearly obsessed with like rounded things. Clearly that's like my thing that I've been into lately. And I don't know if this is exactly what I want to do, but we'll see. Just going to play it out for now. Because these wraparound porches, they're kind of difficult to make it look right if you're not careful. They really are. Because you get some like weird gaps and stuff like that. And I honestly just don't know. So here, I'm going to try this. See what I mean? It's like there. It's like that kind of works. little wrap around deal. Let me see if I can try that and like bring this down. I just don't know. Um, these ones are like the rounded roofs are really, really difficult for me. I'm not all that good at them yet. And I can also do this. And it still looks weird. And then that also looks weird. It's just that like corner piece, you know. <clears throat> that honestly also might be okay. And then I can kind of like round that out and I might be able to round this too. I don't know. 
or not? Uh, that might look okay. As long as you like squint, but then there's this piece. So that's kind of part of the problem. Hi, Monica, welcome on in. I'm trying to renovate the charm household. How are you doing? Balcony, maybe. Balcony might be good. Cause like we have this here. This is like maybe a roof trim will help, right? That's kind of it. Maybe let me try. Cause like if we do some sort of a roof trim, I really want to try to use like a thick one. But that's also very tricky with this. You like the concept, right? Um, a flat half hipped there. Flat half hipped roof. It does look cute from the bottom, doesn't it? Like here. Hmm. So like a balcony, you said. Like a balcony or... Because we can't really do like a traditional balcony. I can only do like a platform if we do decide to do this. Because we've done this style of thing before. Because like a flat piece just will not work. It has to be up a little bit for this to like even like consider working. So, I mean, we could do something like that. I could also try this. I'm gonna give this a whirl. Maybe even try to like flatten this out. Cause like the balcony parts could, like, this could be so cute. Um, Can you round the balcony too? Yeah, AJ, AJ, you're like on the same wavelength. I love it. <laughs> same brain, AJ. Okay, this is looking kind of cute so far. Cause then like one of the, then again, like one of the ideas that I'm having at the moment, I'm gonna try to do this and then like this though, this may make it kind of wonky, maybe. Okay, here, hold on. I'll show you why I'm gonna do this in just a second and it's because of the spandrels. Oh, biscuit. I may not be able to make this work here. Okay, that's not bad though, as long as I don't have to do this. Okay, so the reason why I wanted to have it here, I also don't think that this is exactly where I want this to be. Let me try to bring these in. This is going to get a little bit weird, though. OK. But this is why I wanted that piece, because like you can only see this is weird. This isn't going to fit right here. Biscuits and gravy, right? Honestly, though, but really. <laughs> Biscuits and gravy. Good gravy. See, that fits better, but it also looks weirder. Oh, that fits so much nicer. See that? <gasps> Meant from the right over that room, so there's no upper floor on the top of that room. Oh, like up here? See, I can't get this to go in, though. But does that look funny with this up here now? Like, if I delete that, this is what this looks like. But if I don't have the rounded part... then I can totally do this. Maybe. Oh no, it's not gonna let me do it because that rounded piece. Okay. Hmm. Even if we're doing it here on the front, a balcony would be so cool somewhere else too. Exactly, yes, I agree. That like keeping one of these a balcony somewhere or even doing like a balcony off the back of the house potentially. This is, uh, this is going to be like a big front door and I don't know if it's gonna be like this one or that one or if I want to do something where <clears throat> we even have like, I have so many ideas floating around in my head right now, you guys, to kind of create this really whimsical looking like Victorian feel like this. I don't know how to put it. Um, give me a sec. Hold on. 
This might mess everything up, but I'm going to try it anyway. Hi, Steph, how are you? Welcome on in. So nice to meet you. We are currently working on um, a renovation of this house right here. This is the Charm household, and it is um, going to be base game and Realm of Magic only. So bad at the style, you're so good at it. Thanks, AJ. I try. I really try. It's hard. Thank you. Oh, Biscuit, are you? <laughs> okay, hold on a sec. I don't, I don't think I, I haven't played in this house either. Like, it was a mess. We basically stripped the whole thing down. <gasps> there we go. Okay, we basically stripped the entire house down and then now we have to like use it as a shell kind of thing. Oh, Biscuit. Okay. Do you guys see kind of like the deal that I'm trying to work with here? I'm trying to make like, oh, what the? Okay. Glad that we established that. Um, this game is definitely not broken. <laughs> I am very glad we've established this. Um, <laughs> with Windenburg. Windenburg is a fun one. I love it, Monica. We've done one Windenburg red model so far. There are no bugs here. None of them. There are zero bugs. Oh my God, you guys. I have so many ideas floating around in my house right now. I am not my house in my head right now. Oh, but it's all also like, like, how do I pull this off <laughs> properly? I don't even know if I can do this. Hey, Mars, thank you so much. Oh, my Lanta. Hi. Happy Friday. Mars, thank you for the 30 months. I hope you're having a good day. Thank you so much for stopping by. How are you doing today? Do you use tool or not? Yes, I do use tool. I was thinking about rotating it, but so, so. I don't know like how far I want to take this idea like here or if I even really want to keep that rounded piece because the rounded piece is really, really, really cool. But also like if I could pull off my neat porch idea, and having this not be rounded could also be even better yet. Hey, Monica, thank you for so much for the follow. Welcome on in. If you're new here, my name's Zephyr and my pronouns are she, her, and I love the Sims. So welcome on in. I'm so glad to have you. Thank you for coming on. Bye. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to try to see what it looks like with a non-rounded piece. So I'm going to like bring this porch here. And part of me is like, bring it over a little bit, like do this, bring it to the front and then bring this forward and make it a wrap around. <clears throat> but also this could be kind of messy looking. Maybe. We're going to play with it though. So we'll see. So I think if we end up doing like a like this kind of like this kind of wrap around roof, I think this would look even better. Um, feeling pretty anxious today. Oh, I'm so sorry. Wait, so you have like new work staff? You said uh, to review in about an hour. Oh, that's anxious. I'm sorry. I hope it goes well though. Cover with some nice spandrels. Yeah, I definitely agree with like the spandrel thing. I, there are going to be a lot of spandrels on this house for show. Without a doubt. Okay, so we have this at least here. And maybe I could bring this here and like stop that there. Uh, 
and then I could like do something like this if I wanted to maybe we shall see maybe Ooh. oh my goodness Ooh. <laughs> oh I hope that everything goes well for you though um on the right side of the building and there's a square first floor and a second floor but it would really look nice where you said as well oh like over so you said Hmm. Let's see here. I wonder how can I get this to roofing is tricky, especially since I'm trying really hard to like make this nice wraparound thing go on. Like I could also bring this in like that and like bring it all in. But I also want to do like the really cool whimsical look that we had and like make everything all bendy and kind of interesting looking. See, because this is just like really vanilla and boring to me. Like with how large this porch is. Then one of the things that we could do. The pergola would look like on the right. Oh, like a little pergola. OK, that would be kind of cute. So let's try this. This is where my head's at right now. I have no idea like how much of it I want to do or anything or if I even really want to do this, but I'm trying to make it look like this really cool. Like. Ornate Victorian thing, I think it's still too blocky, especially like on the bottom side. Like this. Bring these all together so they snap together really cute. I don't know. The roof kind of swallows the whole house. It does. See, that's like I'm like, I don't like it. This is like a big wraparound porch thing that I'm trying to accomplish, but it's not working out for me. Columns and spandrels. Yeah, but I want like the archway instead. I don't want the. Uh, yeah, you could definitely accomplish like the same look, but I want the the, um, the arches because like I have this vision in my in my head with like this big wraparound porch for like a Victorian house. And I don't know how to accomplish this. Or if I or if I even really want to try this to be or try and have this be like the, the entryway in the first place, because this was the back of the house. So like if I had this idea, could I potentially make like the entryway be like one of these even or something? Or. What if we do that? All right. Ads are going to play in just a second, you guys. So I will be right back in just a sec. We're going to go ahead and pause. And I'll catch you in just a few minutes. So thank you for your support. Yeah, I almost wonder if we could also do like. <sighs> this really cool. um, Like really big rounded porch thing. House fit on the lot when just rotated rotated 90 degrees. Uh, yeah, it does. It does. This is a really big house for this lot, too, though. It is very big so rotate it 90 degrees um it's so like just on its side kind of thing because this is where i'm at right now i rotated it so any of these could be the front few more size considered to be the front right exactly it does this is kind of cute but i also don't i envision this in my head to be like the side and not necessarily like the front especially with like how big this is on the top because this is this was the back before and then we just like rotated it 180 degrees hmm I really wish that I could get those columns to or not those columns, the um, the one thing, what the heck is it called? I really wish that I could get that to work properly. Um, gosh darn it. I 
I can't think of the word off the top of my head, you guys. That archway. Oh, because I've seen some really, really, really cool things. Maybe I won't try to like line the entire house with it. Maybe I'll just do like a couple. Hmm. Or we could even do. You actually, you actually, actually, you know, it would be kind of cool. If we ended up doing something like this, because I can totally do this uh, type of thing. I wonder how unique or how different or weird this would look if I did that. I don't know. That could be kind of interesting. And then just have these be like little bushes or something in there. Like this is just like a faux wall. Um, put a spandrel between two columns. You get a nice arch. Yeah, yep. I know. I know. I, I want this look though, Monica. Um, this one, if I can figure it out. So like there's a specific style that like Victorian arches or like really enclosed, like, yeah, like the thick wood. There's like a specific style like, uh, I can't. There's a house in my area with something like that. But I don't know so, so. how to like emulate it with like the style of porch or like what style I want to do yet, but it'll all come together. But it's a lot more like thick and like framed in. than like the spandrels will offer. Hi, Ch uh, Champing. Thank you so much for the follow. How the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden. It would almost be something like that, kind of, sort of, but like more <laughs> neo-gothic arts and crafts, kind of. Um, I'm just really bummed that it like glitched out and it wouldn't look good on the one side. Well, almost like this kind of thing. Like that style. Like that would be so cool. Like that, that that's what like in my head, but I'm trying to see like how that could translate. I wonder if I should just say heck it and do like an angled thing instead of a rounded porch because I don't think I'd be able to get this to work and like look good and not like clunky, just adding on to the blockiness of the build, if that makes sense. So like, let's try to do that angled thing because I think that could be really cool. Yeah, that's like what's in my head. I'm like, how can I get this to work? So now you guys can kind of see what I'm trying to do. I knew it was like there, but like not there yet <laughs> for you guys. Uh, platform or foundation? That's true. It wasn't it wasn't a platform. That is a fair point. I do want it on a platform, though, which makes it even worse. <laughs> but that is a good point, though, Unicorn. It could have been the fact that it was on a on a platform. How wide is the arch? I think it's three wide. Yeah, it's a three wide arch. So like on an angle, it's too wide. Um, so see, so if it's like on this, I wonder if I could get this to be like here come there. So it kind of like works adjacent to this. And then I could. See, those aren't even even. Dang it. How dare you? There we go. See, I can't even like get that to work either. Ah! <laughs> if I even really wanted that to be like that, of course, like lined up with that thing and then like have the doorway on the inside or something. But you know, it's, it's fine. That's a detail, but um, let me see. So if I can even like widen this out just a little bit more, that would be even cooler, I think. So have it be like four wide because this is technically three wide, but it's on an angle. So it's going to be like a little bit bigger technically because the angles are a little larger. OK, so let me see if I can like line this up. It might still be weird. So, hey, 
I wonder where I want my my porch to wrap around to. So should I have the porch kind of come out like this and go off onto this side and like have a little deck over here? But then that's so blocky in the front. So maybe I won't do that. Maybe I'll bring it around this side instead and just kind of end with this side of the house like here. And then let me see. So I want it to be at least two or four wide. If I do decide to do this. As like this style of wraparound porch. Um, I'm clinging on to this idea with for dear life, though. Uh, maybe? I don't know. Potentially. Okay. I know, I think I like it with the angle as well. So far, so it's a thing. It's a thing. <laughs> That's all I got. That's all I know. Oh, son, of course it's not. Oh my God, I hate angled roofs sometimes, you guys, because they're not like even with it. It's like a half of a square off. So I wonder if I can like move this house. Like this. Oh my God, I swear on my mother. Cause like angled roofs, uh, you have to be like, see, okay, there you go. If it can be off like by like a half of a square, like on an angle, if you shift it to one to the right and one to the left, Yes, yeah, it, it can be really tricky. So like if you run into that problem, shift it one to the right or one to the left, just like one like little half square usually or like back or forward, depending on like where your angle is. But you can get it to work <laughs> uh, if you do something like that. So, OK. Um, I wonder. So one thing that I'd been doing as like a trademark per se with the um with these realm of magic builds is that I've been doing these like uneven like whimsical style builds like I know they're asymmetrical on purpose. Uh yes, Monica, you should totally do it. Oh my god, it can be so much fun. Please definitely do it. Get into it. It's a lot of fun just challenging yourself like this is definitely something that is it's it's worth it. It's challenging. It's fun. I feel like I'm becoming a better builder because of it, because I'm using like less packs and stuff. So I'm kind of forcing myself into something different. And I wonder this one's going to be a lot less like nice looking because of the way that it's like shorter. I wonder if I could even do this one on this side and maybe bring this one up. Maybe. I don't know. Just an idea to throw out here. Um, game is updating. Yes, get with it. I love it. OK, I'm not sure if this is exactly how I want to handle this area, but how did they do the roof on that other one? Because I had that one. I also realized I've been like on the share screen thing for a second. Um, like this. Right here. So like, I wonder how we can simsify that. Because this is this little piece here that we just kind of made. I don't know if I want it to be the exact shape that it is at the moment, but we're on to something. So I think it would be cool if maybe I could even try to do like a 
maybe a half hipped, but we'll see how it looks. That's going to be tricky. Try to get this porch to look like cohesive and also kind of have that cute shape that I wanted to have. Because one of the other problems that I'm going to be running into in just a second here that I just noticed, actually, um, is the fact that this is like cut off short here. So one of the things that I think I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to bring this around by like one, two, three. And then this is going to be far too wide. This is four wide on the side. But maybe that could be like, maybe that could be like a little stair or something that comes off the back of the house over here on the side or even like something. Or maybe I could just end it and be like, boom, there it is. Who knows? The world is our oyster right now. Could even do like a big window thing if I wanted. Oh, like gaudy roofs. Yeah. OK, so the alignment of this is like set up exactly as such. To where. This is just where this is like how it's lining up. I don't know how to put it. Um. But I almost wonder if I could make it so I can fit like windows in between each of these. Like, I mean, I think I could technically do it like right now and just slap these windows in here. But I also like the idea of like pillars too. And doing something different there. Because even if we were to like cram these all together, Cause see, that's really cool though. I think. Looks fab. Thanks, Monica. Um. Then I have like this room. And then I wonder if I could like do. I don't know. I'm just playing around with like ideas. I have no clue. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. First and foremost, however, I think I want to try to do just like a straight roof to see how this looks too. I tried to just save the game. I'm not playing it, just watching the stream. Oh no, I'm going to save the game here. I'm taking that as an omen. I'm taking it. I love it. Thank you, Kanashi. <laughs> How are you doing, Kanashi? I'm so glad to see you today. This is also very, like, boring. <laughs> oh, no. Because here's, like, this roof piece, right? I don't know. How does one roof a, a roof? <laughs> How does one roof? Ah, see, I'm trying new things, guys, and it's hard. This is difficult. My trader's been blessed this week with Cornish Rex kittens. Aw, that's so cute. I love that. Get ready for school. All right, I'll see you later. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I hope you have a good day. I'm gonna bring this together roof uh over the width of one of the arches so like something like this you mean is that what you're referring to how we'd center that right like this one this one works it's width of one arch so like it's technically too wide on a diagonal it's like it's something Huh. 
There's an idea. Maybe. It's just, I know, right? It's just not lining up. I know, right? It's it's really difficult. So difficult to put a roof on a diagonal. It is toxic. It is, isn't it? I'm over here like, so this is my inspo right here. This thing. Oh, I'm dying. It's so cool. So see like the, the big arches and stuff that we have. I know you could do accomplish that with spandrels, but I wanted to be like more like emphasize um, bleh, I want to emphasize it more this is kind of where I'm at at the moment it's figuring out how to roof this and simsify it or even like I even wonder no because I like it being as wide as it is but I do like these being all like right here though like that and like this and like this being here is kind of irritating looking because it's very large, obviously, as we can see. It's like too big. I like the angles. Then, yeah, it's not like lining up here. And I can't really do anything here to like make that work because we just run into the same problem if I like extend it out. A uh, house in my hometown in Hannibal, Missouri. There are many Victorian houses there, right? Ah! Roof the diagonal, the balcony, the other parts. Ah! No, I don't like that idea that much because the the way that the roof will like angle into it, if that makes sense. Because the roof will like eat into it. Um, I'm stubborn, stubborn as an ox when it comes to this. So as you can put one side roof, uh, you can put one side roof. Oh, like one of the other half gabled. Is this what you're talking about? From Kansas City and I've always been there a few times. Yes, I know. I love that. Um, we did see some like I went to Kansas City. Yeah, I went to Kansas City um, in July and I really enjoyed a lot of the architecture that we saw. I was like wanting to look at all the houses. <laughs> the entire time it's like all I wanted to do like I just want to go look at all the architecture and how pretty it is okay but this isn't bad it's not bad um but it's not great either but it's not bad we're on I think we've got like some sort of a start Frank Lloyd Wright houses yes Furby oh my god so you may or may not know I'm a Frank Lloyd Wright stan uh, I was born and raised where he was born. <laughs> well, I wasn't born and raised. I grew up where he, uh, I was, I grew up and was raised <laughs> in his hometown. So there was like a lot of Frank Lloyd Wright influence in my younger years. Um, just by like all the architecture and like even our high school is like based off of him and stuff. And I love it. <gasps> oh my God. Okay. That's really cool. That is really awesome. So like I enjoy architecture from like an artistic standpoint, but I couldn't tell you anything about anything else at all. Like I couldn't be like, oh, yeah, like all the technicalities and things. I could not do it <laughs> as a non-American. I always get so confused as Kansas City is in Missouri. Yes, it's on the border. Like Kansas City, Missouri is like directly on the border. So like half of the city is in Kansas. Half of it's in Missouri. The Kansas City side of Kansas City or the Missouri side of Kansas City, I could tell you was nicer. At least the part that I went to. Hi, Psycho Chick. Welcome back. How you doing today? I'm so glad to see you. Thanks for stopping by. What's happening? I'm fighting with this roof. This is what we're doing today. I know this is so much nicer. Or it is over there, isn't it? I loved it. I thought it was fun. I know, I bet that gets so confusing. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so I'm gonna try to... Hello? The game really said no. Hi, Nick. How are you? You finally have a power after over a day without it. I'm excited. 
Sims 4, just be in Sims 4. Nick, I'm so glad. How are you doing? I hope you guys made it out of the storm okay. Uh, I saved kind of recently. However, like what we did wasn't very hard. If the game says no force it, honestly, right, Kay? That's what I'm saying. Liking the black, uh, liking the black house. Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, the black house. Oh, because like it crashed and stuff. <laughs> All right. So now that that happened, we can try this again. Um, isn't this exciting? I love this for us. We're good, no damage or anything. We lost power and all the food in our fridge. No, thankfully we didn't have the, uh, have a lot in there to begin with. Okay, I'm glad though. Of all things, I'm glad that like, it was pretty minimal, you know? Very grateful. We're renovating the charm household today. And boy, am I glad to see you. I'm super glad that you're here, Nick. Thanks for stopping by. So I like the asymmetrical roof because of the stylization that we're going for off of all of these beautiful Realm of Magic houses. In case you're wondering why I'm doing that. It's just a stylization uh, choice. Food is replaceable. That's right. Um, And they can spend it. Uh, and can spend it with all of you. Aw, yay! Get to spend the whole day with us. Well, at least part of your day, at least. That's exciting, though. I'm glad that things are okay. I personally haven't known... I don't know anyone yet that was impacted, like, super greatly or anything. Which I'm grateful for. Oops. Um, Hello. Okay, so that's like a thing. Good to know. <laughs> oh boy, isn't this just a peach? Okay. Here we are. Maybe I'll make this like a little more emphasized or something. I don't know, I'm playing around. Is this the house that originally had the staircase to nowhere? Um, I don't remember if this was the one. Does anyone remember if this if this household was the one that had that? I don't remember. Um, It may have been? <laughs> Question mark? All right, guys, ads are gonna play in just a second, so I will be right back. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with us. Twitch plays ads no matter what I do, so one thing that I do as a content creator is I pause our gameplay so you don't miss a thing. So I'll be right back. Hold tight, everyone. And thank you for chilling. Um, uh, Renaissance Vampire for Halloween. That sounds like fun. I'm glad I already ordered it because the dress won't get here until right before Halloween. Oh my gosh. Woo! Many of uh, repeatedly checking Simsy's Discord all day. Yes, right? I know. I was checking in a, um, do you want to floor the top porch before you hide it with roofs? Um, I'm not going to put a floor on there anymore, though. In the, on like the, like the, the rounded part I was going to, but I'm not going to like put a porch up here anymore, at least at the very moment. What's my favorite soda? Ooh, um, it depends. Usually like Fresca or like Diet Mountain Dew or something can be pretty fun. I kind of like those. These days, I'm not much of a soda drinker, but yeah. Um, if I do enjoy one, that's typically what I kind of try to reach for, at least. Aw, sorry about that, Psycho Chick. I know ads can be kind of finicky sometimes. wonder I'm trying something different with like this like little roof piece here we go it's looking really nice the way that I have it all patched together though and I think I might be able to do something kind of like crazy and like wiggly with this one maybe 
Because I want it to be like all arched and like fun. And I gotta figure out how I can do that. Kind of almost all soda. Now I usually drink a uh, brand ice sparkling, ice brand sparkling water. I usually don't like sparkling water, but the taste is more crystallite with fizz. Ah, I know exactly what you're talking about. So, Isn't so it in like the, like the plastic bottle, like the skinny ones? Those are good. Hi, Cammie. How the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden. Thank you so much for coming along. I appreciate that. Thanks for being here, my friend. What's going on? I'm trying to, um, like layer these roofs so they're cool. And I just don't know. <laughs> I'm trying. Making an attempt. My favorite color. Do I have a P.O. box? I do have a P.O. box. My favorite color is um orange. My P.O. box is right there. Thank you so much for hanging out through ads, by the way, everyone. Um, I'm just playing around with like this and seeing how I can get it to go or get it to work. Cause I really, really like the look of like the crazy roofing and everything. Getting it to look all like off centered or something. I don't know. We shall see. Ads ended. Yay! Twitch plays ads no matter what. So I try to pause my game for you guys uh, or whatever I'm doing so you guys don't miss anything. That is important to me. Hi, Carlin, welcome on in. I'm so glad to have you. How you doing today? Thanks for coming by. I appreciate that. Do a Discord? Yes, I do have a Discord. Um, if you guys want to join it right there. When you do join the Discord, you have to like react to the... Oh my God, what is it called? You have to react to the thingy. To the rules. And then it'll give you like... 10 minutes till uh, until you can talk kind of thing. So if you want to get into our community discord, that's a good way to do it. Come hang out with us. I want to do like a movie night in October at some point. I don't know exactly when, um, but I want you guys mentioned wanting to watch the new Hocus Pocus movie. So I think that would be a lot of fun if we could do something like that together would be a blast. Here's this little idea, like this thingy instead. I, if I can't get this roof to work, I might just like throw it away <laughs> and not use this roof piece or use this like angled part or something or try to do a covered porch here. I don't know what the right move is gonna be, but I can tell you that it's frustrating, <laughs> especially since I wanted to look all like uneven and wavy anyway. That's going to be like specifically hard, I think. Oh my God. And then I can do it like here. This doesn't look good. I think it's because this is too wide. Aha. So it is. We have like this little Eve pieces. All right, Eve, I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. This is a good way to do this roof piece, though. I do say so myself. Already watch it. I don't, I uh, won't give anything away, but you love it. Aw, thank you. <laughs> what uh, What if this roof is more uniform, uh, uneven, wavy? Exact Kanashi. I was just thinking of that. Hi, Barefooted Mama. Thank you for the hanging out through the ads. Welcome on in. Yes, I was totally thinking that this is going to be like the um, like the more uniform part of it. So on the same page as you, Kanashi. I love it. I could even make this like slightly rounded if I wanted to, maybe. Like here on this one. And then I wonder if I could like get this to come in one.
Okay, not bad. I'm gonna like do this and then rotate it to see if I can get this to work. I might not be able to just because of the way um, everything's kind of like lining up, I guess. I can bring this in. Oh, come on. Maybe. This isn't the worst. And then I could even like go like that and bring it over just a little bit. Oh no, that like messed everything up. Ah, because it was too long. Rah! If you're stopping in for the first time, by the way, if you're curious what we're working on, um, I'm working on a save file and I'm currently trying to renovate the charm household and I'm working on a porch part and it's going to send me into like a fit of anger if I'm not careful in just a little bit here. As all can be repeated, uh, it could be because of where you're from or if you have like any ad block settings or something like that. That is also something that could impact um, like the lack of ads and stuff. Okay, that's actually, that actually looks really good though. I think that looks okay. Um, however, this end piece is something that I'm curious about. Oh my goodness, maybe this might be okay. Um, but yeah, I think it's, it might be, be due to where like you're from or something too. There's something that could happen. This is actually not bad. I wonder how this like roof trim will look on here. I know that those are going to be a little weird on the corners on a gameplay in the near future. Um, I'm planning on doing a little bit of the not so very challenge and continuing on with that on over on YouTube too. I went on hiatus due to like some family stuff that I had going on, but um, I shall be doing that. I think this is as in as it can be. Okay. I actually quite like the way this roof looks, though. OK, so let's try to do something else over here. Oh, you know, it would be cool. You want anger, right? Oh, my God, you're build to create the solar system. Oh, my gosh, that would be so hard, Casey. And from Europe, it might be. I don't know how that works or like how the ads function, I suppose. I wish Twitch would tell us more, but they really don't. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm going to try. How is this going to look? OK, this actually doesn't really impact the inside all that much. Oh, you wanted to, but you're kind of oh, no, you're kind of giving up on it. That is so difficult, though. That is really hard. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, working on like the solar system, I can only imagine, honestly. Hi, Blanca. How are you? Welcome on in. I'm really glad to have you. Thanks so much for stopping by. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm trying a new thing. And I don't know if I like it. <laughs> OK, let's try this. Maybe. I wonder if I could like bring this piece over. I don't know. Hmm. Um, uh, my PC will also not be able to handle if it's included. Uh, if I include it, is already saying you're adding to the much tooled clutter. All oh, right. Yes um to the to the solar system build yeah that would be really really hard on like someone's system i understand that totally dreamlight valley and i don't know what i'm doing uh and then you saying it <laughs> you know i don't know what i'm doing anyway for like any reason at all the small left roof to the bottom roof are you talking like 
Uh, are you talking like this right here, unicorn? Is this what you mean? Like that? I don't know how I want this to work. I almost want this to be like here. And like to bring that forward. Oh, that's so cool. Wait, that could be kind of cool. Extend it downwards. Uh, like you mean this part or like this part over here? Oh, you're making Medieval City? Nice. That's exciting. I, I hope that we get like the Sims more, the Sims 4 Medieval. I really do. That would be awesome if we could get something like that. He's so good. I want to do something up here. Obviously, like with this, this is a little difficult. I wonder. First part, extend it and bend it so it connects to the edge. Uh, so first part. So this one or this one? I don't know which one's the first part. Could reduce some of the stuff I'm creating, right? Could reduce it for sure. So this could be kind of cool as like a little dormer piece almost. Small left one. OK, so like. Extend it and bend it so it connects to the edge. It just feels, I don't know. Hmm. I'm not sure if I like it at least. Hold up. But something else that I do want to do is do like a hipped piece all the way around this bad boy. Hi! Simmery Sims, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in. How's your stream? That is so nice of you. Thank you so much for picking us. How y'all doing today? Simmery. That's amazing. Beans, make sure you go give Simmery a follow for that raid. I really, really do appreciate that. You were so kind. Thank you for picking us. How was your stream? I'm currently trying some different and very unconventional ways to like roof this house. This is the charm household. Um, from Realm of Magic. So this is kind of what we have been working on here today. Let's trying out something with this. So fill us in what's happening. How is Disney Dreamlight Valley? Trying, you're doing great. Thanks, Casey. I really like the idea. I enjoy the idea of having like this part being like this little hipped piece. I don't know, just to like create this little divide here, but I don't know. So this is like a big wraparound porch thing that we're doing. So put a roof and connect it to the roof on the lower floor. So put a roof here. So like this one is what you're talking about. So put a roof and try to connect it to this part. Like down here, are you talking? So this is a realm of magic build that we're working on. And ah, I see what you're saying, unicorn. Unicorn's like, yes, I finally got you. <laughs> That's exciting. Oh, love the front porch idea. Thank you. We decided to make it like a big platform. And like uh, my inspiration picture that we're kind of drawing from a little bit is this. See, like I know you can kind of create like some sort of a feel with like spandrels and like pillars, but I wanted it to be like more bulky and chunky feeling and more woodsy. Um, so that's kind of where we're at at the moment with this. Dreamlight Valley. Oh, you had a blast. That's so good. So like Dreamlight Valley is such an interesting game. It's basically like Animal Crossing meets Disney, which is so cool. Um, I'll show you guys really quick where, um, what the heck is it called? Um, where like my inspo or like where things are kind of going with these builds, because I'm redoing all the builds in, in the game. And this is a bar that we designed. So you can kind of see like the way the roof is going to flow and like how everything's going to feel overgrown. Very magical. Um, because this is the magic stuff in the game. So this is the bar that we renovated so you can kind of see how I have like this interesting like vibe going to it with all these like uneven pieces and like the layers and stuff. And then we have. 
This one over here that we did. This is a base game or a space game in Realm of Magic only house. And so you see like all these different pieces and stuff and it's just very flowy and very magical looking. So that's the the general idea that we're trying to like employ. <clears throat> Thanks, mom. I'm glad you like it. Thank you, Simmery. Bugging you through stuff. Oh, no, you're OK. No, you're totally good. You are a OK, actually. Don't even worry. <laughs> um, I like to hear about like where you're going with that, but I think this would actually fit it very well if we connected it somehow to this. Thanks, Amber. I'm so glad you like it. So those two builds that you just saw are Realm of Magic and base game only, and this one's going to be two. This one's the Charm Household. So you can kind of feel, do you guys kind of feel like how I'm trying to make it work now though, I guess? I'm trying really hard to do things that are like different and unconventional with the roofing while also trying not to drive myself into madness, which is very, very difficult at the moment. Um. Oh, oh my God. <gasps> Wait, that's so cool. I don't know if this is like the shape that I want exactly, but like. Yo, thank you for, oh my God, thank you for like chewing through and trying, unicorn trying to get me to understand because I thought you were talking about this side. And then I was like, this side? <laughs> Sometimes I'm like a brick wall. I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> so thank you. Yeah, definitely onto something with this. I love that. I like this shape a little more on this side and we could put like some windows on it, you know? It does look like a witch's hat, Zoom Zoom. You're onto it. I mean, so I mean to put the roof piece on that bare bump out and the drag out the bottom part so it connects to the roof arches. So put the roof piece on that bare bump out. So here, connects to the roof on the arches. It's like that. Oh, wait. The roof piece on that bare bump out and drag out the bottom part so it connects to the roof arches. So like this here almost style thing. Because that's pretty fun. However, I do have like a vision for this. I don't know if I want it to be like this one, but I could roof this one this way. And do something with this. And like do some sort of like a fun little shape to it. I could pinch the top just a little bit. And then we could add like, ooh, hear me out. Hear me out. I don't know if I'll be able to fit this the way that I want to, but we'll we'll see. I'm fighting it. I got the extra handles on this tiny little thing. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Custom dormer. That's brave. Yeah. I love doing custom dormers like this. It's like my favorite thing in the whole world. I love it. And you could do something like this and you could even like bring this out and up a little bit if you wanted to. That's so cool. That's different. Oh my God. Wait, kind of like the direction you went. Yeah. Do you guys like it? I think it's neat being rounded because normally I do something where it's like pointy. But the rounded part is fun and it's different. I do like it a little lower, like right here. A turtle in a good way. Yes, <laughs> like a turtle. I love it. Um, This is so cute. OK, wait, I want to try to bring this out here. Just a little bit more. 
Or a stingray. Yeah, the round of it does. The round of piece does make it more magical. I agree with you. It's kind of flowy, doesn't it? How does that look? Does that look better? Do you guys like it pinched? The pinched one is kind of fun. Whimsical with modern at the same time. I don't even did that right. <laughs> you like it pinched a little bit more. It adds like a little bit more of a like a shape. So AJ likes that. Rounded. Oh no. Personally, I like it pinched. All right. Oh my goodness. Now I don't know what to do with this part. Okay, so like, do I grab this one and see if we can do kind of like a similar shape here? Maybe like this one. Hi, Greenish. How are you? Welcome on in. I'm so glad to see you today. How are you doing? What's happening? Nice because then the roof is flowing through the other one. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel too. Add arches to the big rounded piece. Maybe it'll look interesting. Arches to the big rounded piece. So like this one here. Like what kind of arches are you talking about? Like this or... I'm going to add like more roof layers to it too. So kind of like how, you know, like I had like all the different pieces kind of like intersecting each other. It'll kind of like like that. Cat. <laughs> Cat. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, OK, those are kind of fun, though. Kama, do you like it <laughs> or just the cat? <laughs> This is kind of fun, like a lattice like you did on the other one, like a lattice. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's it. Kitty, what's his name? His name is Kyber. Like Kyber crystals from Star Wars. I really like this. Both are amazing cat and toy roofing. Aw, thank you. <laughs> Those are fun. I'm a little conflicted about this part. Like that roof part here how it like hooks around in that way and I don't know what to do about it if that makes sense does that make sense like Dobby he's doing good thank you for asking Dobby's doing just fine he's a very good boy um uh, making poopies you know like he should be which is good I know right like I just like that too yeah and I don't know what to do about it maybe that that's actually not bad because then I can like bring this out a little bit if I wanted. And then I could do like fun, like another like archy piece here if I wanted like this. Something like that, or I can even like lower it a little bit. My anxiety could never with this roof design. Aw, why is that, Phoebes? Are you worried about uh, like something going wrong with it? Or why is that? I wonder if I could get this part to like behave a little bit. A turret would look so good in that corner. So a turret. Uh, what do you mean? Like in what way? Add a bump out like a chimney. Yeah, like I could add a bump out for like a chimney. Where would a chimney look good? Probably on like this backside somewhere because it's very flat. I was going to add some like some some sort of little bump outs up here to make this look less boring because it's very, very, very flat and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It's not good. <laughs> Not even a little bit. How can you even make a turret in The Sims? Oh gosh, I've got like a whole castle that I did Starry Night. Where did it go? I think it's back a little bit. Uh, it's been a while. 
this one. Oh wait, yeah. Uh, there's like all sorts of like little towers and stuff that you could do here. Uh, you could add half walls and then make it a garden herb area. Ah, that would be a good idea too. Maybe two chimneys on both sides. Yeah, so like one over here or something would look good. A chimney on this side would look nice. That's a good idea. There we go. Okay, that looks really slick though, I think. Like on the edge. Here, it's, it's really subtle, but I think it's kind of neat. I'm gonna try to duplicate this one and see if I can do something here. It's really tricky because it's so like small and so short, but we may be able to figure something out. Oof, see? It's so little. Yeah, I might just have to do like one instead of two of them. I wonder, this one's a little bit larger. So I'm gonna attempt to do something with this one maybe. See, I don't even really like that because I can't really do the flowy look on that one as much because it's just too short and too small, Um, which is okay because we can mess with this one anyway. I can do that and we'll drop like this right here. There we go. That one is definitely ready to go. Ah, oh, look how cool. I really, really like this. This is turning out so unique and so different. Actually, you know, it would be really neat. If I did do something here, but made this more like straight or flat. And then did something different here. Here, I'm going to do this. Cottage witch vibes. Yeah, that's a, that's it. see um and then I could even bring it down a little bit more so then it doesn't like impact with this as much impact this as much looks unreal thanks Chloe I'm glad you like it I'm having a lot of fun in case you guys can't tell however this one I might be able to just get away with that and then just drag this all the way to the back and not even have to worry about that hipped roof part so talented. Thanks, Pars. I'm glad you like it. Oh, that's pretty neat. I don't like it. I thought I was going to like it, but nope. I'm like, mm. <sighs> probably not just because it creates this weird like little porch. Actually, you know, it would be interesting. Oh man, if we had a little bit more room, I would totally create like a balcony. I wonder if I could make it look okay. Just like put it right here where it's like covered by that weird roof piece. Son of a biscuit, I lost it. I mean, not the worst. And then I could trim that up. So like to hide that, maybe. Multiple overarching roofs, but it turned out so cool. Aw, <laughs> I'm so glad you like it though. It's a real trust the process thing, like a Juliet balcony, right? I'm, I'm kind of, we'll see how I feel about it. I don't know yet, but like, I think it's kind of neat. Um, It could be neat to kind of play with.
maybe who knows we'll see <laughs> oh it's an idea that's for sure it's an idea that's actually kind of neat how it just like swoop whoop like that hi eve welcome back good to see you because then this wall being like as tall as it is is really weird so i think i'm actually going to shorten it up a little bit it messed up this a bit but i can kind of edit it to make it look better so since we did that there we go and then this one can come down just a smidge there I like it better without the super super tall walls because it's just it looks really weird in my opinion you got there in the end right yeah yes Mars we're working on Glimmerbrook how are you welcome on in really glad to see you we have like this weird little balcony thing I don't know if I like it or not yet but I mean it's kind of cool I could put like a big round window or something on there if I wanted to like this or even ooh, the smaller one looks better. If we so decided um, looks better with the shorter walls. I agree it does. The bottom one looks better with medium this one and then I might even do small walls on this one depending on what we do with the roof. Just because it looked so weird right save the game oh my god I gotta save the game that's a good idea seeing ah oh, I love seeing the progress in the save file thanks a stained glass watch for that window maybe Ooh, that would be a good idea depending on what one we have I don't know actually if I love that idea of that specific window however however there we go that's it i think that looks a lot better than this one i don't know what i'm gonna do with this yet but we'll figure out some sort of a thing to go here love thanks so one thing that i'm thinking of as well you guys so i'm allowed to add very minimal pieces of this um if i so choose so what I'm going to do is something like that. And then we could add. You know, what would be really cool if we did these stained glass windows on this house instead. The doors and windows, I know they really are. They're so tricky to use, but I feel like they're really great. And then we got to do like, I think those are like really dark brown or black. And I don't know what they are. Are those dark brown? Or are they black? They look like they're black. So I'm going to assume that they're black windows. Looks like a pie symbol. It kind of does, doesn't it? Oh my God, it does. <laughs> Oops, wrong windows. I don't know. I kind of like these stained glass pieces on here. I'm still conflicted about like this whole porch situation. But I'll feel it out. We'll see. Love the black same. I think I really like it too. I might, it might be a question of like this one or the other one because I don't want too much of that stained glass around if that makes sense. So like we'll pick one of the black arches but I'm honestly thinking we might end up going that route. So it's not so much stained glass and so much purple. It was dark brown. I know it looks like almost a really dark brown. But I think it's close enough. To black, maybe. Hi, Peyton. Uh, can I do a balcony in the lower second floor? Yes, you can. You can totally do a balcony if you want to. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I really like these windows, though. Should I do almost like this? Um, 
on the front, maybe. Right? It's, it has like a really, really, really dark brown, like almost black. So it's like right there. I think we could use them interchangeably, honestly, and still be okay. Like, I really think that we could. Maybe. I don't know how I want this to work, but I uh, all I know is that I want these to line up here like that. Or even do some kind of a window. I don't know exactly how I want these to work. But I am going to go ahead and I am going to switch these over to the black ones, though. You're right, though. They're very, very close. And I, I, I honestly think that we can get away with using them interchangeably, which is a good thing. Because we that means we have, like, more to work with. And I'm a fan! I am a fan of that dark brown. Um, the black is a little stark, but I can, can really tell. Exactly. Can't really tell until you have wall color. Yeah. So we have this here. I think this is really cool so far. We could add like a cool spandrel up onto the top if we wanted to. Um, How can I roof the top of this? I'm really thinking that I'm going to go with like a hip roof thing and then maybe add on to it. Maybe. Because I don't know. Hmm. Looks like the Church of Pi. It does look like a pie symbol. You're right. It does, AJ, doesn't it? <laughs> that's, that's funny. <laughs> um... That is so fun, though. Uh, okay. So one thing that we could do, we did discuss this, is adding like a little chimney onto the side of this. And I think that we could do that, maybe. And then maybe I'll actually like duplicate this. So we do have like some sort of a chimney kind of coming off on the side. Um, and then one thing you can do with these little bad boys <clears throat> is that. Uh, and these are so tiny that I don't even think if I even added like an arch to it. I think I'm going to keep them squared off though. <laughs> Uh, or I could even like concave them a little bit. Rounded chimney, you can size them down up and down for variation. <gasps> Ooh, that's a good idea too. So like one of these chimneys are you talking about? Or like what kind are you referring to? Because we don't have a rounded chimney at the moment for this, but a, a, a smokestack looking one would be so cool. We have like that. That's about it. Maybe it's debug. Oh, this, uh, this is all debug stuff. You can kind of see behind me too, or you can't, but like... That's all we got to work with with this one. All the debugs here because of better build by. Um, hi, Zoya. Welcome back. I'm doing good, and I certainly hope that you are too. Thanks for coming by. So glad to have you. I'll sit on that to see how that feels, you know? Yeah, yep, it might be from a different pack. Yeah, I think I know what one you're talking about, and I think it might be from a different pack. I could do almost like a covered porch style thing or something in here if I wanted. Maybe. Like that, or... Oh! Because these just look very big and bulky and I don't know what to do about them. Um, okay. So one thing we could do is some form of like a, a covered porch deal like this. Like over the top of that. 
uh make an open balcony where you could watch the stars or something yeah exactly like we could even make this into a glass one if we wanted to like a glass roof would be really cool up here what are we building so yeah we are working on remodeling the charm household uh so the charm house um so it's going to be a base game and um base game what, what am i calling it base game and realm of magic only build this is kind of the way that it's turning out at the moment i think it's kind of fun um we're re-roofing like the entire thing we're going through and we're we're renovating everything about all of these things so it's kind of interesting like look at that that's okay i don't know if i love this like hanging off the edge like this though like the thing that i think that i'm struggling with most is this like this top piece and i need to do something different with it like i need more like little dormer pieces but i don't know like what the right vibe is like do i do something like this and then do i like take some of these and then do like a really wide big dormer kind of thing but i'll see about this i'll i'll mess with that in just a little while so cool realm of magic pack yes right like I, for me, it's more of like a, a Lord of the Rings and like a, a World of Warcraft kind of thing. But I agree. I love, love, love like fantasy style stuff. So I'm having a heyday with all of this. We'll get it figured out, though. See, I don't know if I love it either. I just, I don't um i know it'll come together but it's a matter of like what that's really the biggest question i think Let's see and i don't like that because this one can come over just a little bit and i think this is actually like there we go it was a little bit too big Some ideas that require other packs, right? It's, oh, it's so hard, AJ. I agree. It's so hard. Um, Cause I'm someone who like, whenever I build, I usually do like all of the packs. I like, don't let, I don't hold back. I just, I go with it and it ends up being like super over the top. And then now when, ever since we've been starting like all of these limited pack builds, I'm like, uh, <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Got distracted by the cat, but I love those stained windows on the front. Thanks. I'm so glad you like it. Thank you. So I have another idea. It's like I can do minimal additions like this. So how would we feel if I did something here or even like right here and technically right there. So then we could like. I mean, it's interesting. Uh, yes, these are Realm of Magic arches. You got it. Hi, Zoya. Good to see you. I think I already said hi to you, but hello. I'm gonna say hi again because my brain is like beep, boop, beep, boop. I wonder instead, I'm gonna try to get these to be a little more pointed. Maybe we'll do ooh, something kind of like that. All right, y'all, ads are going to play, but I need a quick break. I have to go use the restroom and stuff. So we're going to continue on with this, but I actually really like the way that this part is going here. And maybe I could add like another little like pillar point here onto the back of this. Hmm. Maybe could I put windows up there? Exactly. Yeah, we're going to put windows up here. Maybe I'll add like another pillar point, like a faux pillar thing. So yeah, um, all right guys, I'm gonna take maybe like a 10 minute or so break. Gonna go stretch my legs, go to the restroom, go grab something to like snack on maybe, but I'll be right back. Hold tight, thank you for hanging. And I'll catch you in a few. Yay, be good.
Hello, I'm back. Welcome on in. Ah, uh, yay. So how's everyone doing? Hi, Taco. Welcome on in. I love Ikea. Oh, you went to Ikea? Oh my God, Grim Reaper, that's so fun. What, did you end up getting anything or did you just go browse around? Because I know some people do that too. Ikea is always good. This looks cute. Thanks, Juvie. I'm trying. I don't know. I'm trying. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. We're remodeling the charm household. Hi. Thank you. How are you guys doing? Yes, we're remat. We're renovating the charm household thingy. Hi, ostrich. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Frying beans, frying beans, frying bean. Oh my God, thank you. How are you doing? Thank you so much for the sub. I hope that you are having a beautiful day. Welcome on in. Hi, Hades. I spooked you. Oh no, as I said, you have to do a speaker. Aw. <laughs> How are you? You scared me when you turned and wasn't looking. Aw. Well, it was so quiet and just chill. And all of a sudden I'm like, hello. Hi, Steph. So good to see you today. Thank you so much for two freaking months, though, Ostrich. That is so sweet. I appreciate you beyond words. Thank you for being a beautiful part of our community. I don't know if I like this, but I'm trying new things. Apparently. With like the roof pieces. I don't know. I'm trying, y'all. <laughs> also got scared by your return. Aw. You approach me from behind and whisper in my ear that you're back. You're like, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> that would scare the crap out of me too. So I don't blame you at all. Oh my gosh, this scares me. <laughs> Aw, you're amazing. I love your roof. Thank you. This is like kind of a trademark thing that I, not like a trademark, but like a stylization rather, I guess I should say that I'm trying to do for the realm of magic world. We're trying to make things look very like whimsical and very different. <laughs> like they're literally made of magic. Oh, OK, that's not bad. Having like this little rounded piece here. Thanks for Hi, the Zoom. Thank you so much for the 100 biddies. Thank you for being here and thank you so much. I'm so glad you're inspired. I longer watch this memoir convincing a starter with a shell. Aw. <laughs> as long as you're having fun, I think that's the most important part of it. Make it yours. I wonder if I should do that or like try to like bend this down a little bit. There we go. That looks so much better. I don't know if I'm doing this right, you guys, but I'm trying. Funny because whimsical was, uh, was the word I was going to say. Ah, <laughs> you were thinking whimsical. They're shaking it because they accident outside my house. Luckily, no one was hurt, but it's still coming down from that. Aw, Hades, I'm so sorry. That is really scary. You know, I get it, especially if it was like really loud. But I'm glad that no one was injured, though. That's always a relief, I think. So glad no one was injured. I think I might attempt to like bring this one up like that. Maybe. I don't know, because then this will give me a little bit more room to like work with potentially. Maybe. I don't know. Dare I do this? Because this is like. That's a little bit too straight for me. We can't have that. No, we cannot. OK, we got to have it like be all bendy and stuff. We can't have it be straight. Not in this economy. I was really worried uh, a kid was hurt because it's near a high school and an elementary school, but it was just the car and some yelling. Oh, OK, that's good. I'm glad, though. Holy shnikes. I'm really glad. Accidents are always so scary. They freak me the heck out. God, like they really do. 
We don't do straight here. Absolutely. I agree with you. See, I don't know if I like this piece going like that now. Maybe I could like bring this one down a little bit more, even bring that one out. I don't know. Violet, thank you for the 95 biddies. That's so nice of you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Oh my goodness. Y'all are so stinking sweet. I really, really do appreciate you though. Thank you for that. See, I don't know what I want to do. Let me see. Hmm. You believe my roofing process? Aw, <laughs> thanks. I'm trying. I don't know what I'm doing yet, but I'm trying. I'm just putting pieces together, really. Should I make this like a little bit more asymmetrical? Like bring this one over more? I don't know. I'm just doing things. <laughs> That's my roofing process is poke at it until it looks okay. And then you're done. <laughs> and that's about it. That's about all I could do. Oh, wait, this maybe, maybe. Oh, that's kind of different. How it like concaves inward instead. And that like little tail coming down. I wonder what this one could look like. I could do this. gonna bring that one little piece in because those are like weird and sandwiched together so I might like try to bring these in we'll see hi blue beats how you doing welcome on in Eve that is so stinking nice thank you so much for the sub welcome on into the beanie weenie club oh my goodness that is amazing thank you so much for all that support I really appreciate you I hope you enjoy your emotes thank you so much for stopping on by Thanks for being here. I almost wonder if I could like duplicate this and then try this again. Here, let's give it a whirl and then bring this one down because sometimes you can kind of get. Like a different effect, I don't know. By using the same roof pieces kind of layered on top of each other. I have no idea. Does this will look a lot better once we get like the actual roof pieces kind of trimmed onto it? The thicker ones usually don't work with this because the way they like it, it's too bulky almost. But I wonder if we could try using like I wish we had purple. Purple would be so cool with this because of the windows. But I wonder if I could do like black actually or even like a gray. Like that, you see. Like, I have no idea. Uh, hi, how are you, Angel? So this is the Charm household. Um, so it's base game and Realm of Magic. So we're working on yet another magical build. I hope you're doing good today. How are you? So good to see you. I hope you're having a fantastic Friday. It looks like a witch's hat almost. Looks really great. Love the different shapes. Thanks, Dada. I appreciate that. It's different, that's for sure. I don't know. I'm trying to like make it really whimsical, I guess. I don't know. I'm still conflicted about this top piece because I don't know how I want this to look. Um, like, do I want this kind of dormer up here or do I do something different with this? Because I don't know what I would do if I didn't have these pieces. Because this is kind of where we're at right now. Oh, you know, it'd be interesting. If I actually did like a. Is this centered? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I think we're actually centered on this, you guys. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. We're centered. Co so I could do something like this. 
where you have like two little dormer thingies. Maybe the roof color you're gonna use for the finish. Uh, not sure yet. <laughs> That's a great question. I don't know. Gray maybe. Uh, maybe like a darker gray color would be kind of fun. Um, just got back from taking your brother to a doctor appointment. That's so exciting. You grabbed Taco Bell on the way home. That's amazing. What'd you end up getting at Taco Bell? Taco Bell, you know. You know I'm a sucker for Taco Bell. Y'all. Y'all know me by that point. Oh, that's so interesting. I love these. All those two pieces kind of converge together. We're probably going to use finish. Yeah, probably that one. Uh, probably gray. This one's more of like a blue gray. Or even like a shingled look would be really cool. But we'll see how that looks. We'll see how everything else comes together. Like what color we end up picking. The two smaller dormers. Yeah, I think they look pretty cool. Like, so we have this, obviously. I wonder if I could use like this I don't know how to put it I wish I could get it to look I don't know more rounded on the top not like that That kind of defeats the whole purpose because it's just like. It honestly just looks like a gable drift sticking out. There are better purple setting options. I know like a deep jewel purple. That would be amazing. Oh, Doritos logo sack was so good. Kind of looks like your bra. Nice. <laughs> Hi, Willow. Welcome on in. And thank you. I appreciate that. So I'm trying to do something different with these dormers. Like we have these ones up here, obviously. All these fun, like big flowy pieces. I'm kind of almost thinking about doing something like very large up here with like the half gabled pieces, but we'll see. It might be too big. If you're kind of feeling me like that. I like the asymmetrical part because that's like the trademark or like the idea that we're going to go off of when it comes to these kinds of houses here. If I did that, I might have to do something different with these ones on the front, but we'll figure that out. The roofing in the front looks so cool with the black trim. Thanks! I'm glad you like it. I think I think it does look kind of neat, and it kind of plays into the windows a little bit too. So we'll see. Because <laughs> we have these windows, the stained glass stuff. Interesting. Maybe. See, and then I got to mess with these too, because like the the eaves and stuff, they get really weird. Um, Depending on like whatever trim pieces that you choose to use. See like that. There you go. So if you can meet them up just right, then you're going to be good. All right. So ads are going to play in just like a couple minutes here, you guys. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quick break. And I will be back in just a few. Thank you for coming and hanging out. Twitch plays ads no matter what we do. So one thing that I do as a content creator is I pause what we're doing on stream. So you don't miss a thing if you don't have a sub. So I'll be back. Hold tight. I wonder what I should do with these. Should I do like small mini dormers, like really flat ones? I could do like the same shape, just like shorter, maybe. Like maybe bring them in a little bit. That's an idea. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, I will be right back. Hold tight, guys. Be right back. So did you finish building around Magic Starter House already? Yes, we actually finished that one like really, really quickly. Honestly, that one was so stinking fast. It really was. We finished that one in like almost like a day, I want to say. Which is crazy. 
The top continued is similar uh, to the other level. Yeah, I kind of like that too. Final roof texture, but I really like the lighter room color with the darker trim. It's a nice contrast. Yeah, it is. It's different, isn't it? Where can I see it? Oh, it's it's on the gallery, Gabby. I don't have any like speed builds or anything recorded of it yet, but we will be doing or I will be doing a speed build um, when I get down to editing that and stuff. Zoya, thank you so much. Zoya, I appreciate Love that. You, Party face. Thank you. Thank you so stinking much for the sub. Welcome on back for five stinking months. How are you doing today? I'm really glad to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all of your support for all this time. Yay. I really, really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for everything um, that you guys have done this month and all that. Just hanging out, especially for these wacky like streams, because I normally wouldn't stream on um what is it on fridays but here we are streaming on fridays like a rebel but i kind of like it tired but happy oh so yeah i'm glad that you're here though i'm so sorry that you're tired decades let's play i miss a lot um i got burnt out on it and we started working on the save file it's kind of where we're at at the moment. In October, I'm going to be resuming my not so berry stuff on YouTube, though. The lighter of the trim. It does look interesting, AJ, though. I don't know what to do with this, like, front piece. It feels so bland with this house. Look at how tall this is. Hmm. This might be interesting. I don't know how I want this to go. Who the second streamer I've watched today, the bonus Friday stream. Nice. It's like the universe knew I needed the distraction. Right, exactly. On an ad break. Uh, yeah, we're on the ad break. Yeah, I'll switch back. And I'm back right now. I don't know if I want to, like, bring something down like this, per se, if that makes sense. Like, I have no idea. I'm playing around with a lot of different pieces right now. It's truly a process of just, like, trial and error. Aw, oh, no worries, Unicorn. You're good. Thank you for letting us know regardless, though. I do appreciate that. I don't know what I would want this piece to look like or anything. It kind of, like, sticks out, and it's different, and it goes, like, down below almost, you know? I don't know what I'm going for. I don't. <laughs> I'm not sure. It's different for sure, because I could add like a pillar here, because it almost offers like the same idea as the side. And you could do like windows up here. Like I don't want all stained glass all throughout, but I do like the idea of like the black windows. Cause this one here. I don't know. Not sure, because then this will be like a pillar, so it'll look a lot different. I could even add like regular windows from base game or something and then pick like a black swatch on those so they're not like all the same windows all the time. Like I could pick this one because this one could look really cool too. Uh, you could play with one of placement. Exactly. The roof blend the levels. Yeah. So like this here, because this to me, in my opinion, blends together okay. Maybe especially if I like do this like blend that together and then maybe like 
Where's the little knob for that one? There should be like a knob on the end, huh? Who knows? Oh, there it is. Okay. So I could bring that in a little bit and then extend the eave. There we are. And then I might be able to blend that in, maybe. Or not. <laughs> Which is fine, but... Especially if I go like right here, that's so different looking, isn't it? The Robin Magic smaller windows of a more plain black splash that looks pretty modern, so the more modern base game windows might fit in nicely. Exactly. Yeah, that one would be a good idea too. That would be such a good idea. This is truly like a puzzle. And like coloring this is going to be so weird. <laughs> like, I don't know how I'm going to like pick swatches for any of this stuff. This is so strange. <gasps> oh. That's different. That is like way different. Okay. Like the rounded pieces instead. Ooh, funky roof, right, Molly? It's different. Um, this piece could come here. And then I'll figure out about covering this up. Like, I'll figure that out, but. Uh... This piece is bothering me a little bit. And I don't know how to, like, assess it. And I honestly think that I just have to like do this to get that to really like work out. The style of your figment doing those magic builds. Thanks. I'm so glad you like it. It's it's kind of giving me reminders of like World of Warcraft a little bit. And I kind of love it. <laughs> That's so different. I don't know. Welcome back, Tony. You punch up from work. Nice. I hope you had a good day, though. So good to see you. I don't know if I like love this. Oh, you're watching the new Hocus Pocus. Ah, I hope you have the best time. This sounds like a lot of fun. The new Hocus Pocus movie's out like today, isn't it? I wanted to say. Okay, so that roof piece could so, like, stop so. there. I could also bring this one over here. We're playing WoW right now. Nice. See, I like it. So yeah, it reminds me a lot of uh, like World of Warcraft. There we go. That looks better. Um, the night elves and stuff. I grew up playing, um, World of Warcraft. It's like my brain for fantasy stuff kind of translates that way. I could duplicate this. Same spot, but then drag it over somehow. I don't know if this will actually work properly. It wasn't a bad day with a meeting with everyone here. Just super giggly. Oh, <laughs> it's like the, you know, that's like, that's so fun. Like you have all the, the Friday giggles and stuff. Okay, that's cute though. That is adorable. I hope you had the best time, Tawny. See, something about this isn't quite lining up and I don't know how to assess it. It's like this, this piece. And I'm worried because like, I really, really like the way that's actually kind of unique too, especially if I do that. Can you not snap so much? Otherwise I'm going to snap. <laughs> do the thing. There we go. I was like, why is that not snapping? Like, I'm going to snap. <laughs> Thinking of the burl from Harry Potter and I was pictured by wonkiness in the books. Yeah, right? The burl from Harry Potter. That's so fun. 
Okay, those pieces kind of join together, interestingly. Like, look at that. It's so different. Um, And I like how it joins over to here. But now we need like some sort of like some kind of height or something here on this side. And I honestly might try to like join this this way and like do that and like bring this down a little bit or no, I can't bring it down. Let's see. Or oh, or a house version for the Hobbit. Yeah, exactly. I don't think that'll be the right move for that. No, because then that unjoins that. The Weasleys had Hobbit vibes a little bit, didn't they? I really feel that way too. There we go. Those join better. Friendly reminder to save your game. Save your game, you guys. If you have not in a while. Um... We need something blocky over here. What if I were to like try to do this? This is not blocky, but like we need some sort of height over here, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Some kind of height. It's so pretty. Thanks, Amber. I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you guys are actually liking it, though, because I'm not feeling very confident about it at this point. <laughs> like, I'm really, really not. So thank you for your compliments and stuff. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's too much, but I also don't know. It's fantastical. Aww. <laughs> That's so fun. I could bring this in so that part isn't like sticking through all there. And then I do like this piece being over here on that side. Roof game is strong. Thanks, you, Alita. I appreciate that. <clears throat> so I wonder if I could like do this. OK, so like I want to connect that right, but I don't want it to do on the other side. So what I could do is bring this in and then do that. So then it connects here, but it doesn't impact that side. So like they're the same roof, but just smaller. And then like you can only see part of it. I don't know how to put it, but yeah, does that make sense? Um, it's supposed to be a, a mansion, the magic realm. I don't think there's too much for this one. That's true. This is the charm family. Faye. I feel like we need more pointiness up top, though, rather than roundedness. Or I could even like do this one so it's a little more rounded to feel a little bit more cohesive. This is supposed to be like a magic mansion. You are correct. It is. Hi, Toots. How are you? Welcome on in. How can I get this to be pointier, you guys? Should I do you guys like this weird rounded piece here? I think this is going to be interesting once I get like <coughs> some pillars and like some color onto it, because right now you can't really see the differences. Like this is flat right here. And then this is like back there. Do you see? I don't know. Akio pointless. <laughs> that ain't it. That ain't it. OK, so the way that I can get this to operate better here, you can take this, place it right next to the other one. Oop, except you're going to like mess it up on accident like me. So I'm just going to smooch it this way. Bring in this Eve and then you can bring this over like that. And then I can mess with this Eve a little bit on this side. Boom. So it all like meshes together. Uh, person was giving you some two days ago. Cripple kitten. I'm so glad you like it. I'm really glad you like it. Thank you so much uh, for being here. I hope that you enjoy your emotes, my friend. So good to have you. Also, how did those get messed up? I don't know. 
Oh, I think it's because I made it smaller and then I think it messes with the... Yeah, okay, so it does mess with the shape a little bit. So I'm actually gonna try to like do this. There. Then I can like bring this up a little bit so it matches without this Eve kind of sticking off. I don't want that. And then I can bring this Eve over there. So that's how you kind of like get this to work on the side here. And you can get these to like mesh together a little bit better like that. I never thought I'd do this way. Thanks, Toots. I'm glad you like it. It needs something here on this side. OK, so like. Something that reminds me of the church you found uh, went to when I was when we were kids. I think it's the windows in the front. Yeah, like the big, almost like cathedral style windows. I could I understand that completely. And I think you're on to that. All right, so this is so big and so flat and it bothers the crap out of me because it's so huge for no reason. So I really want to try to do something with some sort of a roof over here and I or do I like leave this a deck? Do I try to cover this up? I don't know what to do. I suppose I could like bring this out. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I think like I want to do something back here, Alita, because see how big this is. It's just flat. And for what? Because I kind of like I combated the flatness in the front with like these fake little one by one rooms that I added. Cause this is, uh, so if you guys don't know, like this is a remodel or a renovation of the charm household. And so I can't really move the, the rooms or the walls all that much. I kind of have to keep them as they are. If that makes sense, like I gotta keep them. A balcony maybe yeah like some sort of like a balcony or something that's just so flat thanks cripple i'm glad you like it um some kind of a balcony like we could do something roof extension ah <laughs> too so i'm glad you like it so this one is like very boring and very vanilla just kind of like there this is all very like flat on the front and I feel like I need more like coverage on this side and I don't know how to accomplish that does that does that make sense though like it, there's a lot of like wall showing on this side and I feel like I need more shingles on the top like on this side um I don't know how to accomplish this I don't think that this is going to give me the right look, but I'm just going to just going to play with it. I don't know what to do. Is that? Yeah, see, that won't even fit properly. Um, first, I'm here. Thanks, Patsy. I'm so, so glad so you like it. Welcome on in. How the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden. You are coming in for the first time. My name's Zephyrin. My pronouns are she, her, and I really like The Sims. So welcome on in. We're working on this Realm of Magic renovation at the moment. And I'm trying my best to kind of make it look not flat <laughs> and not boring. I don't know how to, I don't know. I'm trying some different things with roof pieces, that's for sure. <clears throat> We're just doing our best in here. You know, that's the best that you can ask for. If you want to follow me on other social media pages? Teeny link some things in chat for you there. Thank you, Teeny. I appreciate that. Like, I can't even do this. I can't even do this properly. Maybe add some vines to the front to cover walls. Um not so sure we don't really have a lot of vines in these two packs though specifically because i'm only using realm of magic and base game so okay i'm gonna save and then i'm gonna delete this part of the roof i know this is really cool looking but like something has gotta go 
and I don't know what it is. Something's got to go. I don't know if it's like this part or like that or if I need to do like something like this up here on this side. Almost because it's so like blunt on the side. All right, so this is more or less where this piece is going to end. Some external stairs on the bare side of the house. Oh, that might be interesting. Something going. I wonder if I could bring this Eve out without it looking like really, really crappy. Oh, no. <gasps> hmm. All right, so. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, but like, ah, I feel like I could do something really cool with this. Maybe, and then like bring it out. I don't know. Hold on. Let me try to like duplicate this. And then see if I can do anything with it. Let me like bring this back. Almost like a second dormer kind of thing. If you're kind of feeling me. I don't know. Uh, and then I could also do. I don't know <laughs> on the outside, but is your red shelf working? Uh, I think so. I think so. Red shelf should always work, though, um, because it's not like a mod. It's a piece of CC. Some external stairs. Yeah, some external stairs would be interesting. See, then this is like very weird. I don't know. <laughs> Just playing with some stuff, you know? Um, uh, wait, red shelf on the shell challenge? Yeah, you can use it in the shell challenge. Um, Because as long as you don't leave it in your build, it won't flag it as CC. So you can still use it, but then just like delete it kind of thing. You can still use it. Oh, you're very welcome, Phoebes. Yes, yeah, you can use it. Draw fences or half walls on the top like the Goths have. Yeah, um, that would actually be an idea too, Unicorn. I know exactly what you're talking about, though. So these need to come together better. <laughs> I don't know how. See, I don't like that either. Nope. I was thinking we'd be able to do something real cool, but I don't think we can. Um, Maybe if it's like. See, it, it definitely. Nope. Hmm. Because it just adds on to the issue of like there's too much flat stuff going on here. Uh, eco lifestyle pack. I believe it's called eco. Yeah, eco lifestyle. Um, I I think it's okay. I think the build buy is really cute. However, I think the gameplay is a little bit irritating. But I, it's also not what I seek for gameplay for myself, though. If that makes sense. So I know someone else might enjoy it a lot, but I specifically do not. If that checks out. All right, guys. Um, ads are gonna play, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna pause what I'm doing. So hold tight. I'll be back in just a few. Thank you for hanging out. So you guys don't miss a part of the gameplay. So yeah, I need some kind of height or something up here. I do think that where we're at right now with these like roof pieces, I think this is where I want to be. Hi, Kali. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing good. Thanks for being here. 
I actually really like this. Not a horribly glitchy mess, but your cup of tea equal gameplay. Yes, yeah. Um, I love the the build by though. I will say that it has like such a fun like grungy like grungy feel to it, and it's so fun. The grid part of eco lifestyle, the off the grid part and the, uh, the cottage living gameplay. They work well together gameplay wise. Yeah, I'm having a good day. Thank you so much. You were we're we're working on a save file in The Sims 4. And basically, I'm taking all of the builds that like exist in the game and then like doing a renovation of all of them. And it's proving to be very difficult, <laughs> very difficult for like a lot of different reasons. Um, uh, oof, very, very, very hard. Uh, so I don't know. <laughs> ah, there's just, there's like, so basically, like, I can't do anything with these builds. Um, like with their walls and stuff. I just kind of have to deal with whatever the game gave us. Ah, uh, Lilary, thank you so much for the lurk. I appreciate that. I'll show you guys kind of what I've adjusted in like in just a moment here. I don't know how I like the top of the roof. I might pick like a different shape, but I think I'm on to something. I think it actually looks pretty cool. So far, so good. We'll see, though. Maybe. Uh, that's part of the question, though. EA, yes, it's basically like an EA shell challenge save. That is the best way to describe it. I would agree with you, and I don't like it. <laughs> Not even one little bit. This is the worst. I hate it, in fact. <laughs> Horrible. Because these builds are so big and bulky, mostly. Oh my God, I think you guys might like what I've done so far though. Like with this part, I'm being naughty. I'm still working on something because I'm a bad person. And I'm back. Thank you for hanging on and watching through those ads. I really appreciate that. Red Blade, that's why I pause, because I know you guys get hit with ads. Ads are a free way to support. Well, thanks for being here, though. But that is exactly why I pause, because I know sometimes you would get um, some people get hit with like a lot of ads. So. <clears throat> so this is where I'm at right now. If you guys see, I think this actually looks a lot better. Personally, without it being so round, because all of the rest of it has like all these really sharp, like edges, almost kind of thing on them. Thanks. I'm so glad you like it. So this is like a magical style build. Um, So I'm channeling all of my best like Harry Potter and like so, so. Hobbit style vibes. Hi, Dim. How the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden. Oh, my God. I can only use three roofs. I would poop myself. Don't. <laughs> Yeah, it's so cool. So I'll show you a different build that we did. We've done two of them so far in like this really whimsical flowy style. Um, We did a starter home. So this one uses base game and Realm of Magic only. It's one of the game packs. So it looks like this. Um, You can see like all the different roof pieces and stuff kind of flow together. The garden is going to be really heavy. Thanks, Ash. I appreciate that. Hosting is going away at the beginning of October, just so you guys know as well. Um, no more hosting after that. The beautiful, I know the beautiful garden of your dreams. So this is the bar that we did. This one kind of like is where we established the style of how I want to renovate all these builds to be like. Um, so this is it. This is kind of it. Um, you can see like where those different pieces kind of come like come together in that way, but. That's the general idea that I'm kind of trying to employ through everything else, um, like that stylization. And it's proving to be very, very, very difficult on this specific house. And I want to cry and I hate it. 
it's hard i'm having a hard time because it's so big like this house is just blocky and so i'm trying to make it not look blocky thanks alita i'm so glad you like it those are on the gallery by the way in case you guys uh want to download those too there we go i really wanted to like mess with some of these like little pieces I don't know. I kind of like them being rounded, but I also the roundedness kind of bothers me, but it's also super cool. Different, but that's kind of where I'm at. Um, and then there's this that is just blank and I'm kind of at a loss right now. So that's kind of where I'm stuck. But I feel like we've made a lot of really solid progress. Thanks. Hi, Prissy. Welcome on in. Thank you for the 33 months. OK, that's amazing. That is so stinking cool. Holy Mar. Hi, Zev. Waving hand. How Here's are you doing? Thank things. you so much for being here. How you doing, Prissy? So good to have you. Welcome back to the Beanie Weenie Club. Another wonderful month. I'm thinking about doing um, just like duplicating this or something and then doing like a really small portion that you can only see from like the back and like arching it differently. Maybe. Who knows? That's kind of where I'm at at the moment. Um. Ah, doing good. Oh, just on your lunch. OK, that's amazing. I hope that your lunch break goes well. Glad to have you. We're chipping away at the charm household. See, then this is just so flat. So then um, we did kind of think of the idea of doing like a big balcony. So maybe this is where I'll try to start placing this on here. So like this is the top floor. I feel like if I were to do a balcony, I would do it here and then I'd roof it. It's like I'll put a balcony here. Ah, oh, son of a biscuit. Like this. <clears throat> maybe so like it wouldn't be there wouldn't really be like anything underneath of it perhaps but probably I don't know I don't know maybe we could even have like a little staircase going this way I do like it being like three wide though I think this is three wide yeah okay so it is three wide How big for the balcony? We're wrapping around the other side. Uh, yeah, just I think just like this, not like all the way around. But just this way. I don't know if I am going to do this yet, but part of me is like go with the whole design that you have, which is like this whole thing. I don't know, like with the arches. Maybe not. Because I think it's going to be too much if I do it on both sides, because it just adds to the blockiness with like the walls and stuff. So maybe not. However, I do want like these right here. And then I will eventually do like spandrels and stuff. So. I am going to build that ceiling and then I am going to make a feeble attempt at roofing this bad boy. But I think that this can be like a lot smaller if I go down here like that and then I could also do this because this is how you can do those like angled pieces Ooh, just like that and then maybe we'll do this kind of thing I don't know and then like bring that in see it's gonna be tricky with the look of um those so we'll see we'll see we'll see if this works I can't use platforms on the interior now though as a result of this so this is gonna be a little more restrictive especially if we decide to use this style of roofing up here because the way the roof clips in it's just it's not gonna happen how big for the balcony oh I already read that 
I I personally think just where we're at right now, and this is going to be a little tricky to bring these eaves in. So those black pieces, we can like take care of those edge pieces in just a little bit. So this is what this is looking like so far. Kinda. Huh. I could also do like a faux pillar thing or like a big chimney to cut this off so it like looks a little more cohesive. Like that. Because we did talk about maybe doing like another chimney style thing, and I think that's okay. So, so. so those roof pieces kind of don't like, they don't look like they're out of place. Hi, uh, is it Gwils? How the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden. Nice to meet you. How you doing today? So this is going to be a little weird. So those bottom ones that I had were not flat, but I think that just like the nature of this one, I might go ahead and try to make them flat. I think that actually looks kind of cute, though. And then I could grab maybe this one. I was going to try to do a balcony here, but I think the way that we have the balcony at the moment, which is over here, is going to be a lot better. I like that, too. Yeah, I think I'm with you, Gabby. And then I can bring the Eve out here, just like this, maybe. If I so decide. Because this doesn't look half bad on this side. I can even, like, do this. So it, like, ends right there. Just a smidge. Yeah, I think that looks okay. So far, so good. However, how do we feel about making the top floor a little taller now? Because then I could even, like, bring this up just a bit. Because this roof piece is, like, on the other side, or on the bottom level. It's, like, down here, a floor. And it's reaching up. Oh, my God. Oh, that's so weird. I love it. I actually kind of like it. I actually kind of like that roof piece. I'm also hating the front piece now. Here we go. I actually hate this. Um, we'll see. Kind of love this. Can we see the window placements? Yay. Thank you. There's something off about this. And I honestly, I'm going to, I'm going to mess with this again. I'm going to see with this. I know we had this before, but like, I think now if I, if I keep messing with this in this way, then it might all come together, especially since the top part is done. So I think it'll like send a different message. Also, that is very big and blocky here. And it's very like open. Uh... Let's see here. Ah! I wonder if I could bring this one in. Or even do like something different. I don't know how I could make this work. Maybe I could bring this Eve in a little bit more too. Or get it to stop somewhere else. Like here maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I could even bring this part down and like arch this up maybe. But then again it's not big enough. So then I wonder... Just for like a good measure, just to kind of see what it would visually look like if I did that. Hmm. Uh, too much editing on the left side of the build, but there's an inner corner. It would make a turret that would be around that side. So like a turret right here, like on this side of the roof, you mean? 
I love this build. Thanks, Kemma. Huh? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, a turret would be kind of interesting. Let's think about that for a sec, though. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, on the right side. Oh, like a turret here. Or. Hmm. Let's mess with this one again. So I think I'm kind of running into the problem where I'm missing a little bit of like roofing because it looks very plain. And I don't know if that's going to like remedy itself just by like being colored or something or even like. Ooh, because we can add spandrels and stuff to this on the bottom. Hey, Toxic, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome on into the Beanie Weenie Club. Thank you so stinking much. I hope you're having a good day. Thank you for being here. How are you? I'm so glad to meet you. By the way, I don't know if I said it by, by the time you came in, but my name's Zephyr and my pronouns are she, her. I'm really glad to have you here. So thank you for that. So I think we did like this. So maybe I'll just stick with this for a little bit just to see if I continue to like it. I could even like bring this one over. I don't think that I could even like in good conscious conscience make this even smaller and have this still look okay. Like, I really don't think that I could. Because that was such a fun, flowy piece, though. Hmm. So maybe I'll just maybe I'll just leave it alone for now. We'll see. Windows swatch is so not a nice choice. Hey, thank you, C. I'm glad you like it. OK, so on the right side, we're thinking about maybe doing like a turret thing. Aw, so I'm going to go to bed. Thank you, Toxic. I'll see you soon. Thank you for that. I hope you have a great day tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by. So are you saying like the turret thing here? Because that could be really fun or even like. Something like this. So, so. Hey, thank you, Rue. How the heck are you? Welcome on in. Hi, Chi. What's a turret? Kind of like a big tower. A turret is essentially a really big tower. Welcome, my chili fart. I hope you're having a good day. How are you feeling? I know you were feeling the crumbsies for a little while. Very crummy. We're working on remodeling the charmed household. And so this is kind of what we have at the moment. <laughs> it is uh, a thing. That is for sure. It is a thing. That is the best that I can describe it. Feel better, Chi? Aw, so a bit sicky, but getting there. Good, I'm so glad that you're getting there, though. Hi, Sina. The glass windows, the roof, the wraparound. Thanks. Did you see the wraparound around the back yet? I think this added, like, some cool touches to it, too. I don't know how I want to handle this on the bottom floor, but the top floor being this is like, it adds some definition to this part, I think. I want to say that maybe this being here would be cool. Can the roof of it be glass? This one? Ooh, that would be interesting. Oh man, I forget. Glass roofs look like garbage Um, with all the overlapping pieces like that. Mm. Man, yeah, it definitely adds dimension. Yeah, I agree. Let's see. I wonder how I can get this to like look OK and like link up. Probably like this, maybe. So, so. Hey, thank you, Alina. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Bean Garden. How the heck are you? Nice to meet you. 
I hope you're having a good day. Roofing in the back reminds me of a Japanese style building. A little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, like this. Or like a tower in the castle. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's like a tower in the castle. That's exactly what it is. So I'm thinking about adding this little like bump out part, but also is it like, should I make it bigger? Cause this is just for aesthetic. It's on the, the side of a roof actually. So, okay, for this roof to fit properly, I do have to make it two wide and then one. Cause like usually when you're making these style things, they're like a two to one kind of ratio. Especially the octagonal roofs. Like that and then here and that's how you properly get these to fit um and then that of course is gonna glitch out because that's just rude <clears throat> hmm Also, not me, like, full wanting to do something different here. Like, on these parts. Uh, like a decorative pointy glass on the top. Ah, that would be cool. Yeah, let's give that a try in just a sec here. Not a real sim. I know, right? It's not a real sims build if something doesn't glitch. I agree. <laughs> I hate that that's a thing, though. I know all of us do. Oh, the most delicious ramen you've ever made. I'm so jealous. Ramen is so tricky to get to taste right, in my opinion. It is so tricky. I'm very picky with my ramen. Oh my god, wait. Did I just... I don't hate it. I want something different on those edges, though. Maybe I'm just going to undo that and pretend like I didn't even, like, want to do it in the first place. Because I'm just going to get frustrated. Um, so we have this thing. And I also have the option of doing something like this, too. Oops. Or I can do that. And then I have to, like, match the concave manner of it. to get it to like link up properly. So I have to go in. So then it looks like it like attaches to the house a little bit better like that. And that's how you do this. Save. Oh my God, wait, good idea. Saving is a very good idea right now. I agree. Ah! So that's something. And then I can do like the black. Boom. I think it adds a little bit of something here. Uh, how do you make your ramen? I moved to a new city and there's no good ramen here. Seriously miss it. That's a good question. How do you make your ramen? I haven't successfully made ramen at home. I have not. It makes me a very sad lady. There used to be a place uh, in the city where I used to live. Um, a guy I used to be a roommates with. Used to be a ramen chef. Uh, and he left to take care of family, a noble deed. And then it all went to crap and there's no good ramen because he made it the best and it broke my heart. But he did it for the most noblest of deeds. He did something called Mazamin and it's dry ramen. So he made dry ramen um, and you toss it in like burnt scallion oil and it's so good. It is like honestly so delicious. And I loved it. And he, it was served with like chicken. <clears throat> it was like the best level of like savory and sweet and delicious. Oh shoot, ads are gonna play you guys. I'll be back in just a few. So Twitch plays ads no matter what I do. So you won't miss a part of the speed build here. So I'll be right back. Hold tight, thanks for hanging out. And I'll be back in a minute, in a minute. Um, then I put corn and peas on this time and spam an egg. Nice, Amber. That's good. It was delicious, Amber. I don't know for some sushi. Alina. Oh my God. I'm so jealous. I'll see you later. Thank you so much for coming by. Ooh. I wonder. 
The roof on the shell is gonna be the death of me. Oh my god. The roof on this house is gonna be the death of me. I feel you. Thanks, Evie. I appreciate that. That's really nice. They're like a the D and it's like the color. This is gel. So like the color is uh by D and D or something. I don't know exactly. D and D, and then it's called uh Adobe. Or a boat or something. It was Adobe or a boat. I can't remember what it was. And then I don't remember this one. This one was like pure romance or something. And then I don't remember this color because it was just a gold, a orangey color. Yeah, it's almost like a pinky orangey color. I did not. <clears throat> I did not. I go and have my nails done um, and gel painted every month. So, so. Very fall themed. It is. It is. Honey Trap, how the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden. Nice to meet you. So glad to meet you today. I think I'm going to start like adding windows to things, though. I think that's a good spot for us to be. I also don't know if I want to add all of these to be like stained glass. But the stained glass is a very noble deed, noble thing to have, but I don't know if I want it all to be stained glass in this area. So, so. Hey, Sophie's. Is it Sophis? How the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden. Nice to meet you. I really hope you're having a beautiful day. Thank you so much for stopping on by. Dobby. Oh, Dobby. Dobby is doing good. Thanks for asking. He is. He's a very good boy. The best boy, one might even argue. But um, doing really good. Um, no surprise that he hasn't pooped yet because we literally like it's a kitten, by the way, <laughs> um, because of everything that happened the other day. My nails cut short and last time I went, I think I'm preferring short with gel right now. Yes. Yeah, I prefer mine to be very short. I used to like my nails longer, but it's so much easier to just like do stuff. Any mischief yet? No mischief. Same first cold day. Here's a ramen and chili. Nice. Maybe I'll make chili for dinner like tomorrow night or something. Maybe I shall do that. That actually sounds wonderful. I make a pretty good bowl of chili, you guys. Not to brag or anything. But I do. I like cooking a lot. And I'm back. All right. I was conflicted about all of those stained glass windows, but we'll see. You know, we'll find out if I actually want to like add them back or keep them. But these are just way too fun. Like these rounded ones. Like, look at how cute these are, in my opinion. Look at that! Is that not cute? Oh, you want chili? Yes! Yes! Oh my god, so good, Chi. Oh. Do you mind onions when they're in things like that? As long as the onion flavor is not, like, too prominent. These remind me of spider webs. Like, hardcore, like, spider webs. No, no onions. Got it. I was like, I can't I know that you're, like, onion adverse, but I didn't remember, like, how onion adverse you were. Yucky cheese like, I hate onions. Get those away from me. <laughs> Understandable. And meanwhile, I'm over here like, I love to cook and I love to cook with onions. Silly stuff. Ooh, wait a minute. That's interesting. That's kind of cool. More onions for you, right? Exactly. See, more onions for us. I agree with that. More onions for us. So you can have them all. <laughs> She's like, please take them for the love of God. I don't want anything to do with the onions. It's okay, chat. I'll eat all the onions. I don't have to. Don't tell mom, though. Oh, my God. So this one time I was working. And a customer bought an onion and he straight up took a bite of it, like an apple. Show inside. You're not missing a lot yet. 
Don't worry though, this is an EA build. Um, so I stripped everything down and now I have to renovate it. And I'm crying inside because it's big. Like very big. Oh, that's so cool. This is giving like almost church vibes though, but it's kind of fun. It's different. It's quirky. Work with someone who eats lemons and limes like an orange. My teeth hurt. Like my enamel. Like I ate the, the, the lemon on stream that one day and my teeth hurt for like a week. I they like hurt to brush them and like they were so sensitive to hot and cold and I wanted to cry. I like this. What do you guys think? Oh my God, this is like a big mansion. <gasps> What if I did big round windows somewhere? Yes. Oh my God. It was from the acid. It hurt so much, Chi. I wanted to die. I did. I was like, why do, how do people do these things? They hurt so bad. They did. Oh my God. What do you guys think? Um, I feel like it's, not big enough. I don't know how to put it. Like, maybe I should put this here. Up here or even like on this. Oh, wait. Maybe here. Oh, like on this window. Ooh, look at how cool that is. What hurt? Um, eating a lemon. Like I straight up ate that lemon for like charity and stuff. If you guys remember that like hurt my, I couldn't like brush my teeth normally for like a week. It was awful. Um, I was such a baby. I know it would be beautiful. Like the further front of our church, wouldn't it? It would. This is giving like night elves though from, um, what the heck is it called? From the thing, uh, from world of Warcraft. And I'm not mad about it. So I wonder if I could pick a black window from somewhere, you guys, like a base game one. And I wonder if I could get it to look okay with this build. I think I might be able to if I pick the right one. I love you did the porch. Thanks. I'm so glad you like it. I want to add like stairs and stuff all around it. I can't do anything here on this side, so I might just do like planters, but like imagine. If we did something like this, don't do it. Okay, I thought it was gonna mess it up. Don't do it. How did I do that? Um, there we go. I might also do this. Stop it. <laughs> there we go. E eating lemonade. Oh my God, right? I know. Well, I didn't have, well, we don't, I don't think we have these around here though, Janie. Be so nice if we could play stairs on a diagonal. I would die if we could. That would be so good. Oh no, I'm very sad now. I'm very sad. Lemonades as Kaz uh, agrees with me are delicious, right? That sound, they sound really good. I'm honestly jealous of you guys for having things like that though. I don't think we have any of those in the United States. This is the idea that I have at the moment, though, with this porch. I don't know if I love it or hate it yet um, or if I want to add like fake. Things I don't know. Oh, you know, it would be cool if I did debug and then I made like fake stairs, but like rose it up from like the bottom. So then it like, continues around. And it looks like a cohesive stair, but it's not. I think that's a good idea. Um, I'll show you guys what I mean in a little while, because like. If I use tool mod to raise things from like a fake basement that I make, it'll be there physically, but it won't be there like it'll be there like visually, but it won't be there physically in the game. So your Sims can like walk up the fake stairs that you make and stuff. It's really cool. I've done it on a couple things before. Uh, platform stairs. Oh, so so. 
Oh, that's even easier. Oh my God. Yes. I forgot about that. Oh my God. Thank you. Platform stairs. Wait, that's a good idea. Um, don't panic everyone. I'm okay. I love it. Wait, I want to do this. Like that level that makes me feel better about myself. I'm going to do this. Oh, no, I might not have any room. I might have to like move my build back, though. We'll figure it out. It's fine. Um, uh, maybe. <gasps> it works. Oh, my God, it actually works. OK, I'm so excited now. Uh, another window glitching in the front. Yeah, they glitch sometimes when you stack them. I almost want to do something like this, too, though on that so it's not like all the same window like all the swirly whirlies and stuff I think that looks really cool what do y'all think I could even do like that Maybe I'll play with it. I preferred the swirly. Oh, you preferred the swirly windows? Is lemonade just not, is lemonade not just lemonade the drink? Um, there's a specific type of like, what the heck is it called? Um, uh, there's a specific type of uh, lemon that is lemonade. It's called lemonade. It's like sweet, I guess, or something. Apparently, I was like, oh, very good to know. All right, let's give this a whirl, you guys. So I have to go like this. Close her up. And then I got to go one, two, three. And then we can delete all these walls. And then those are glitching out, so it's fine. Oh my God, this was a really good idea. Uh, people brain stopped braining. Hold on. Um, Here we go. Do you have to like attach it differently here? There we are. Um, Meyer lemons tend to be sweeter. Oh, do they really than regular lemons? Not sure that lemonade is made with them though. Ah, see, I have no clue. I'm like a lemon noob. There we are. OK, so this is going to be easier for me to do this. Oh, yes, Amber, I love platforms. You can't attach platforms easily. You can, but like it's it's annoying um, to foundations. But I like faking them with platforms. There. So this is like kind of an idea that we have. I'm so glad I said something. Yes, it looks so good. I can't wait to see how we bring it all together. So I do agree that I think I like the swirls on this one more, more, more or less because it's like a, a big feature window instead. So however. That I think is nice. I think that looks really cool right here. Um, forgot you delete the first roof and the platform in the middle part. Uh, what? There? Oh, oh, I see it. Yep, yep, yep. That is exactly right. I did. Thank you for pointing that out, actually. Hello? There we go. We got it all taken care of. Thank you for the reminder. Super fancy mansion with a humble version, if you get what I mean. Yes, right? Exactly. I do. I understand exactly what you're talking about. This is an EA build, and I'm making an attempt to make it look better. <laughs> and it's hard. I'm struggling, you guys. So how do we feel about the big turret here? 
And then this area is looking pretty cool, I think. I wonder if I could do like a really big stained glass window here now. Because these are going to be like separate levels. That makes sense. So you see, like, I got to be careful now. about like where I put those. Oh, those like rounded ones are going to be a little bit difficult. I don't know. It looks nice. Thanks. I'm glad you like it. I want to do something here, but I honest to God don't know what. It's like we have this really big window that I could edit or use, but that's too much stained glass, I think, all over the place. Like, that's not a vibe, in my opinion. Like, I don't know what to do with this one or where to put this one. Instead of having, like, this archway back here, I could do, like, a cool window. Like, same vibe, same idea. And then just make it, like, black or something. Maybe. Could be, like, a dining room. Ooh. Actually, could even do like that if you wanted to, so it's not like all the same. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to put it. Press F5, you go to quarter tile or whatever, you press Alt, you're moving. Ah, yeah, I remember. I remember that one. I almost wonder if I could do like that. Nope, I don't like the way that looks. Undo. I'm going to save real quick, though. Thanks, Psycho. I think I like it. I don't know what ones I'd want to do or how I want to do it yet, but I think I might be feeling it. I don't know yet, though. We could also do something like. Instead of like these. Ooh. We'll see. There's something that feels off about it, like out of balance, but we'll we'll find out. We'll mess around with it. Maybe I'll keep them for a little while. See how it feels, how it all comes together. I think it's the fact that like these ones are like there's double spaced. If that checks out, do you know what I mean? Like there was two empty. Um, But I suppose instead I could do something like this. So it's truly every other or I could start like here and see how this feels. See, that's better. I think that looks a lot better, like them being every other. I don't know if Sims can actually pass through these though, so I guess we'll find out. But if they can, they can, they can't, they can't. I agree, right? Yeah, because those, I like the idea of those being like double open, but every other makes more sense aesthetically, I think. Um, so I'm still like weird and conflicted about what to do for the side. I am going to take some of these, though. Um. And put these windows like there. Or we could even do like slightly smaller ones. I don't know if I want to use like these ones. Because they're just very... boring I don't know they're just not boring but I don't know how to describe it but they're not really what I want to have all over the place repetitious hi Mel oh my god welcome back I hope you're doing good so glad to see you today how you doing we're working on our save file so this is a realm of magic build that we're working on how have you been I'm really glad to see you this is interesting. 
could do that or we could mess with those. I could do right now. I'm kind of in the middle of figuring out what windows we want to slap on this bad boy. that i don't know so they're all not like the fanciest windows ever you know because i feel like it would just be too much good to try oh god ah trying to get back into the sims with the the work is exhausting i'm so sorry oh my god well i'm glad that you're here though i hope you can take some time to yourself and kind of chill out for a little while i'm really really glad to see you though thanks for stopping by The black windows of the funky top bits blend with the magic ones. Uh, are you talking like these? Ooh, right, that one. Is that what you're talking about? Or are you talking like these? These ones kind of could, especially if we picked like the, the right ones. You've got like the small ones. These ones feel very churchy. See, I would probably pick like almost those designs because they really fit with the, the swirliness. That could be interesting, actually. I don't like that. Because they have like a square one and then they also have like the angular ones. That could be nice. I know I like the big one a lot too. Let's see. I wonder if this one would be okay. Like that, maybe. And then uh, just an idea. Oh, definitely. I love the idea. Like, I want to implement it, but it's a matter of, like, where do I put it? How do I make this happen? Because hmm. this is giving, like, I think the thing that's throwing me off here is that it looks like a mustache. <laughs> and I don't like it. I don't like the fact that it looks like a mustache hanging off of the side of here. Do you see what I mean, though? It totally looks like a mustache. And if I put windows on either side, it's going to look like a face pretty much no matter what I do, I think. Oh my God, do I do I get rid of these? Then to me, that doesn't look as good. Maybe I move on to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right, Lillary? I'm like, ah, it looks like a mustache. It looks like a face. I'm with you. It does. Totally random note. I downloaded a renovation of the bar of Glimmerbrook. Oh my God, that's so good. Emily, I'm glad you like it. Thank you. Thank you so much. How are you? I love that. So this house is so blocky, you guys. I want to add fake pillars to everything. I'm feeling it in my bones. Maybe I'll just do it because it's, I hate it. I hate this house so much with an absolute fiery burning passion. It's the worst. It's so blocky. These EA builds are gonna make me like fall into a pit of doom. Doom, I tell you. All right, guys, ads are going to play. Um, so Twitch plays ads no matter what I do. So one thing that I do to make sure you guys don't miss a part of the conversation is I pause the game. So I'll be right back in just a couple. Thank you for hanging out. You won't miss a part of the gameplay or the building or the conversation that's related to it. So I'll be back in a bit. I, oh, because of their builds, right? Oh, my God, Lillary. I think this would be easier if I just built this house from scratch. I think it would be easier. And that's coming from someone who like. Is clearly trying to. 
uh, like really, really, really renovate these houses. I'm going to check out. Bye, Eve. I'll see you later. Thank you so much for coming by. I really appreciate that. Sometimes a recipe will have the measurements, but not look exactly the way the book. Sometimes you got to go by ear by pouring the bits. Exactly. I also find it comes to baking easier to use a fork rather than combine my eggs and find it mixes better overall. Yes, I agree. I agree with that, too. One gargantuan shell challenge. It is. And it's it sucks, <laughs> but it's fun. It's fun, especially like the stinking Spencer Kim Lewis household. I'm like, oh, my God, what is going on with this? Spencer Kim Lewis house is a peach. <laughs> As the kids call it. I don't know. What I like the most of out of these. I do wonder. I think I am on to something with this, though. I think you guys might enjoy what I'm doing right now. Maybe. I don't know, though. It made it look a lot better. I would honestly like no offense to the ones who built the lots in Cop Copperdale, but they're not my cup of tea or vibe, right? No, I get that completely. I do. I would love to be able to build something for EA, but I think it would be really, really hard um, because I'd have to have like such big restrictions. I'm pretty good at stretching a, uh, a simoleon, though. An immersion blender. Ooh, an immersion blender is always a good addition to the kitchen, in my opinion. <clears throat> I like that idea, personally. Coming back in just a few. Um, a lot of certain number of items. Exactly. Yeah, you're allowed like a certain amount of items. Um, yeah, it, it gets hard because they have like so many restrictions that they have to have when they go to ship a pack. It's tough. I think Kayla knocked it out of the park though and i'm back guys what do you think my little porch thing i think i'm gonna leave this like open down here though or i guess what i could do is i could add like a little deck maybe to the bottom hi cricket welcome on in i'm glad to see you how you doing today thank you so much for stopping by So yeah. Oh, they are oh, they live in Oasis Springs. Wait, who lives in Oasis Springs? What did I miss? <clears throat> I wonder. I'm gonna try this, you guys. Make it maybe like even a, a platform on the bottom, I think would be really fun if I did that. Um Oh, no. Wait. OK, this one has to come out, I think. This is tricky because it's like, OK, where is the wall going to go? OK, see, it's just a little bit too big. So, yeah, it's, it's tricky. I think what I'm going to do instead of this is I'm just going to draw the wall like directly below it and then like delete them after the word after the fact. Um, Coffee basing the same, but I bit the lot for Sims. Uh, three sims and two dogs and there's like seven thousand simoleons left they live in a pretty rundown trailer in a desert nice seven thousand simoleons left over is pretty good that's a good amount of money to live off of for a little while so you don't like fall behind on your bills and stuff that's a good one hi mel oh my god mel thank you so much 
much for the 11 months. That's so sweet of you. Oh my goodness. How are you doing? Welcome back to the Beanie Weenie Club. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for coming by. Oh my goodness. I really appreciate that though. What's up? I wonder, y'all, should I try to do like a... Like the little lip. No, that looks dumb. I was going to try to like bevel it around the outside just to give it like a little bit more shape, maybe, but I don't know. So I don't know what this piece is supposed to be. I just added it. Um, so then it doesn't look so flat anymore. Now I'm about to do the same here. Oh my God, I'm going to lose my mind. Ah! I don't know what to do. Ah! Maybe, okay, I'm just going to try to slap these on there. And then I need to find like, or find out how I want to put like little dormer pieces here though, all around the side. Um, I don't know how to put it, like little dormers on these. Um, maybe, just maybe. I can do something kind of cute like this and put this here. I don't know. No, I don't like it. Ah! Uh, thinner batter for immersion blender. Oh, right, right. Never thought of using my immersion blender for that. I usually use it for soups when I love cooking, but baking is intimidating. Baking is intimidating. Like you never think to use your immersion blender when you are cooking or when you're baking. It's always like a, a cooking thing for me too, in my head. <clears throat> that does make so much sense though. I wonder, I don't want to do like the curly Q thing again though. Maybe. It's kind of fun. I wonder if I could get something to look okay over here. And get it maybe to be like a little bit pointier almost. Just maybe. So if you're stopping in for the first time, by the way, you guys, um, I'm currently working on the Charmed household. So this is a renovation of their house and I'm using base game and Realm of Magic only and I'm trying to implement kind of this like magical whimsical feel to all of the houses that we're putting in here. It's kind of where we're going. Aw, uh, thanks, Blue. I know we have a bunch of like just super creative people in this in this community, don't we? Really do. I don't know how we got so stinking lucky. So many talents. I wonder if I could do this. And I could try like the crisscross thing again. I don't think I'm in love, however. Ooh, what if I, ooh, what if I happen to go this way? Maybe up a little bit? I don't know. I'm totally gonna try to like duplicate this one and see if I can pull it up instead. See how it looks. I'll bring the eaves in. By the way, guys, I can't believe TwitchCon's next weekend. I keep losing my mind. Also, hi, Teeny. I hope you're feeling okay today, my dear. TwitchCon's like next weekend, I think, isn't it? It's crazy to think about that TwitchCon's actually like happening now. Oh my goodness. <gasps> like what?
No, I don't like that either. Hmm. I was going to try to make it stick through onto the other side, but I don't like it. And I might even try to go like just make my eaves a little longer so it doesn't impact like the shape of it. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> Ooh, wait a minute. Might be onto something here. So, okay. I think one thing that's going to help me kind of feel out the way that this house is coming together is if I do something like this. So I'm actually going to take like these, uh, these flat squares and just like draw. And I'll show you guys in a second what I'm going to do with this. So I don't think that I'm going to be able to do it with the spandrels. I think I might have to draw like an actual wall, which I might just to get the spandrels in there, though. So like this. Oh, hello. And then I can add like the spandrel right here if I wanted to. And then depending on what we do, I might be able to add like just this really cool roof trim all the way around the edge. Maybe. Or the exterior wall trim. These are like 275,000 million, so I'm not going to do that. But what I am going to do is potentially use like these black pillars. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. That is kind of like a really cool like starting point. I don't know if I want to keep going with on, on my current trajectory or if I want to stop and then suddenly like start adding all these other like bits and pieces like this to the house too. I don't know exactly how I want this to go, but I think I want it to be gray. Do we have a sticker to give away? Ooh, okay, that's exciting. Okay. I'm also going to undo that or whatever, too. And the last part. Because I want to start working. I want to keep working on the rest of this. I think I was getting a little too sidetracked. OK, so guys, once every 10 subs, we give away a sticker and we met that threshold. So we have a sticker. Hey, Lean, thank you. I appreciate that. It's so nice. It's a... Uh, we're kind of we kind of picked out like almost like a vibe for all the renovations that are going to go into the Rama Magic World. And then they're all like really flowy and whimsical and different and just very magical feeling. Um, and this is like a. What's it called? Uh, like a magic mansion. It's for the charmed household. All right. So if you guys want to enter yourselves for a sticker, go ahead and type sticky S-T-I-C-K-Y. So I have this. This is what it looks like. Looks just like that. And enter for these. These will be mailed out this weekend. Along with any stickers you guys have won in the past. It's really cute. And then... Hi, Simran. Um, November. Actually, uh, any... Okay, so the top gifted subs and the top gifted bits for this week or for this month sorry um i'll be reaching out to you guys probably on like monday or something um to see if you guys want to help design the holiday sticker for this year so that's something that's happening too no it's it's all across the world all you got to do is be following i do send these um directly to you it's a really nice vinyl sticker simran i'm glad to see you i hope you're doing well how are you doing Nick! Nick! Oh my god, Nick, I'm so excited! How you doing? Alrighty, Nick. Yay. You know the drill, my dear. Go ahead and send a message to the beautiful teeny fart. She's got your form waiting for you. So these forms with your addresses are for my eyes only. Um, I do take your security and your safety really, really seriously. 
So just so you guys know. Um, I will be mailing these out hopefully by this weekend. That's my goal. That is my goal. Hi, Kenya. Welcome on in. I'm super glad to see you today. How are you? I'm trying really hard to make this build not suck. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm struggle bussing super hard with this one, though. I usually struggle bus and then we get it and then I'm like, good, I'm golden. But this one is proving to be very annoying to me. Hi, Kenya. I'm super glad to see you. Welcome on in. What is happening? I really like that little turret thing, that look right there. That's just cute as heck. I am doing wonderful. Thank you a lot for asking. Um, We're working on this renovation of the Realm of Magic build. Chipping away at it, you know, making it all magical. It's so pretty. Thank you. I'm glad you like it so far. I almost want to like take off some of these, like these, but I don't think that looks right either if I take off those corner pieces because I think it's going to be like super bland if I do. There's just like no windows on that part. So maybe, just maybe I'll keep them on. What about a veranda? Uh, what's a veranda again? Add interior walls. Yes. Yeah, you can do floor plans and stuff. You can totally do that. I think these little like round, this, uh, this little like wiggly pieces that we're adding to the edge, I think that gives a little bit too much of like a, what kind of vibe is it that I'm thinking of? Almost like a Spanish style. And I don't like it. Not for this one. Uh, the windows are good vines on the back for aesthetic. Uh, we There's no vines available. Good vines, I guess, available in the packs that we're using. But that would be a good idea, Alyssa. Because we're only using um, base game and Realm of Magic. That would be pretty cute if we tried that. I wonder if I could, like... Undo this, and then this is exposed. This could come out. See, this just isn't matching up properly. And I might like bring that in so then it just doesn't go anywhere else. It just stops right on the edge. Hi, Mickey. Welcome on in. A veranda for the second floor, but I don't I still don't know what a veranda is, though, Jamie. <clears throat> um diva vines etc not any that look good they all look like really cheap like you know the base game kind of has some really like cheap looking stuff um basically like that <laughs> it's a male miranda oh my god hi how are you, Joey? Good to see you today. What's happening? How are you? We're working on the charmed household. Interior balcony looky shelf. Oh, like an interior of oh, veranda is like a, a balcony that goes all the way around. A veranda is a, a balcony that goes all the way around. Like a porch. Oh, this is what that is right here. But it doesn't go all the way around, I guess. So I wonder if I should add like these here. Like that. It was good. It was super. This is super cute. Thanks. I'm so glad you like it, Joey. It's the charmed household. See it. It's a mansion. I just wheezed uh, that you made read my more poor excuse for a sentence out loud. Oh, no, wait. Interior balcony looky shelf. <laughs> I think it's very, you know, 
Ah, uh, yes, I love interior balcony looky shelves. <gasps> Wait, I have an idea for this. Interior balcony looky shelves are like my favorite thing ever. Hear me. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Here's what I'm going to try to do now, y'all. I'm going to try to fix this first. There we go. Got it. Um, here. All right. Okay. Here's this. It's just for aesthetic, though. And I think it's going to be cute. Hopefully. I don't know. Maybe. But I do think that we need more like of an angled part. We could put like some little like a little dormer thing on the back. Bring this in. And the reason why I'm using two different shapes is so I can make it asymmetrical because that's the whole like vibe of this whole thing. This whole world that we're doing. Hi, TDAC. How are you? Welcome on in. I'm really glad to see you today. Thanks for stopping by. We're currently working on the Realm of Magic build. And um, this is the Charmed household. So it's a renovation of that house. OK, that's actually really cute off the back, though. I like that. That's fun. And then I could do like a. Like one of the windows if I wanted because this is just for like funsies and for fake and stuff. Ooh, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. And we got rid of that weird pillar thing here. I mean, it made sense for the other ones. I might also just not have it be there too. On the top level, just so I don't have to like feel obligated to cover it up. I might just add like windows and stuff and call it a day. Ever pull off that roof? Thanks, Fod. I'm glad you like it. Um, this needs a little more razzle dazzle to it, though. And like, so I have like a specific stylization that I've been doing for the builds in Realm of Magic. And they all kind of have like these really arch, like all these arches and like all these curves and stuff, if that makes sense. So just like this. And then everything kind of like flows together. Everything's all like layered up. Kind of like that. And like on the front. And then I want to do this on this top side too, because I think this is what this is missing. We tried it before, but then I, I don't know what happened. I think I just deleted it for whatever reason. I think I might just leave that right there and call that a day. Because this one goes, this one's on like a bottom level. The window with like on a diagonal wall. Yeah, yep, yep. That's exactly it, Janie. So this is that big diagonal wall. That's good. I love that idea. Um. However, okay, I'm kind of running into the problem where I hate all of these windows because I feel like there's too many of them now. So like, do I do something in black with these shuttered windows? Or do I just do like big old windows like that? Like, hold on. Almost like these. Might nap a bit longer. Aw, Janie's so tired. I feel so bad. All right, guys. So ads are about to play in like a couple of seconds here. So I will be right back. Thank you for hanging out. Twitch plays ads no matter what I do. So I take a pause um on our gameplay so you don't miss a part of the conversation and the building so i'll be right back hold tight thanks for your support you guys the roofing can be described as higgledy piggledy perfect aw i like okay i like the word higgledy piggledy though that's just fun to say add roll is a go <laughs> hi garris good to see you again Bum, 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 bum. I hate building houses. I love decorating them. Is that something you might have struggled with earlier in your Sims playing career? How do I get better at building? Sounds cliche, but just do it. Um, Do things like look up inspo pictures online. 
and then try to build them or try to recreate them, draw like a, p a piece of inspiration from it, like for a specific feature. Ours was a porch that we drawed inspiration from for this. Um, but yeah, like, because I feel like the more, like the better, the more you do it, the better you'll get at it or more familiar. Garris, I've been good. Thank you. I'm so glad to be spending this nice Friday afternoon with you guys. Awning porches. Oh, yeah, that's right. The awning things. That's a good idea, too, Janie. That is a good idea. Beebs! Hi, Lala. Welcome on in. I'm so glad to have you. Do the shell challenge. It will give you a good challenge to start with. That's true. <clears throat> adding into onto EA bills. Yes, that's a good idea. So you started by adding on to them. That would also be a good spot to start, too. I feel that. That's good. That's a good suggestion, actually. I like it. Opposite the problem, I love doing exteriors, but not the interiors. I hate landscaping. I feel like I'm so lazy with my landscaping, though. Like, I don't like it. Um, I would rather poop in my hands and clap than landscape some days. <clears throat> I said what I said. <laughs> Um, by the time I get to landscaping, I'm usually fed up. I know, like, I usually do the entire exterior and then the landscaping and then move inside is normally the way that I build. Pretty much, like, all the debug, all the plants. Right? That's about it. All the plans. I'm so glad I'm streaming. Yay! Weeb, I'm so glad. I usually don't stream Fridays, but I um, have a few hours that I need to, like, make up because I took half of the month off um, due to, like, some family stuff. We are doing good. At least I get to, I'm, I'm kind of glad to get to hang out with you guys, though. So one thing, by the way, I might be moving one of my weekday streams to an afternoon stream it'll give me like time to work on some things um at in the evenings uh during the week which i think will be really nice lazy with landscaping girl talking she said build a whole forest on the roof of a house ah <laughs> to me that's not landscaping though and i'm back by the way yes it'll be like an afternoon stream um i don't know what day yet but i think i'm gonna start it immediately in october Halloween theme. Oh, that's so fun. Oh my God, that's a blast. A Halloween themed Among Us thing going. That's amazing. That's going to be a great. I really hope you have a really, really good time with that. I can't wait to do all the Halloween things like pumpkin patch picking. Oh my God, we got some things planned for this stream, you guys. What kind of windows should I do? I'm like lost, y'all. I'm lost. I know I want to do some cute windows, but I don't want them to be, I don't know, big. I don't know how to put it. Are these ones cute? Or I don't want them to be like the, the realm of magic ones that we had going. Maybe these ones actually. I think these ones could be kind of fun now that I'm looking at them. They're like big floor to ceiling ones. That could be fun. Hold up. I also don't know if I want these to be like on all of these corners, but we'll see. Actually, I might cheat this floor plan a little bit, you guys, just for the sake of the build. So I usually don't do something like this, but I think this will be cool if I do it. Oh no. Oh my god! Okay, wait. <laughs> I hate roofing in The Sims 4. Don't, don't, you didn't see that. You did not see that. That was horrifying. I didn't like that one bit, y'all. I hated that. Every single second of that moment, like where I could see all of my roofing pop through when I broke the wall. Oh my goodness. 
Oh, that was what horrors are made of. Okay, so I have one idea. My idea is this. Potentially doing this for my... Like this little end, maybe? And I think that's kind of a vibe, though. It'll look a lot better. Um, all your autistic masking kisses are, are serving you well. Aw. <laughs> What about this? Oh, autistic. I was like, what? Okay, that makes sense. It's a cute feature. I'm glad you like it. Um, I'm also thinking about doing something a little differently too. So I'm actually gonna undo all of that. And then I might try something different. So like this, one of these windows, the smaller one probably. Hi, Camus, how are you? Welcome on in. I'm real glad to see you. Thanks for stopping by. No, I like the other ones more. That was way better. Man, I was thinking I was onto something. But alas, we are not. However. Mm -mm. Nope, not into it. I was hoping for something different. So I want to try this. I am doing pretty gosh darn good. We are renovating the, um, oh my God, what what is the name of it? Uh, we're renovating the Charmed Household. So this is a, a, a build that came from the, uh, from the Realm of Magic pack. Charm House, yeah, I like the Charm House. This excites me. Okay, I don't want these on like the corners and stuff, but I do feel like I almost think I'm almost thinking about doing something here. It was previously furnished, yes. So this one um is very big. It's an EA build, so it's one that like shipped at the pack and stuff. It's very, very, very large, and it comes with like a whole pre-made family and stuff to like. Uh, go inside of it. How much have you changed much of the layout? Um, I've added a little bit. So basically, like, I've added this, this, like, these little pieces and stuff. I added this little diagonal part for aesthetic for the outside. Um, and then I, I bumped these out and I added these. I added the porch. So basically, like, any walls that touch the inside are ones that um, are original to the build. So we redid the entire roof. I added like the big porch on the side of it or like the deck. Um, all of the windows, the roofing is all new. Woo, we've got a lot of work. Very nice. Thanks. I'm so glad you like it. Thinking about doing something here, but I like this. I almost like this too, cause it just, it looks different from the side profile. And I think I'll take it. It looks much better. Thanks. That means a lot. Cause I'm feeling very self-conscious about it. <laughs> if I'm going to be honest. I don't know how to feel yet, but I do. I am glad that you guys like it though. Okay, so these windows can all go like here. Oh, oh my God, they're white on the inside. I don't like that. Oh no. Oh no. You're ruining my aesthetic. I don't want it. No, we need black windows inside and out. Oh my God. I'm stressed. And these ones don't have like a different swatch or anything on them either, you guys. What are we going to do? Maybe these? Ah! Wait, no, those windows weren't supposed to be there. There we go. Okay, that looks better. Um... And then I have to like redo those. So these ones maybe, I don't know. Do we have like a longer, thinner one that I could use? Cause this one wasn't the one. 
I don't like this one. It's too open and it doesn't have the right vibe for me. Of what I want. My, oh no, my windows, they're broken. <laughs> exactly. That's how I feel right now. I'm so sad. How about that though? This is boring on the side. I wonder if I could do like a, a little mini one. Maybe something like this. I don't know. I'm trying. Kind of weird that they're white on the inside. Yeah, it kind of is. I wish Windows had like the ability to change that though. Like to pick between the certain swatches like that. The inside and the outside. That would be uh, amazing if we could pick that. All right, let me see if I can get these. I really wanted those long skinny ones to work. Oh man. Oh man, I could do this, like these ones. But those aren't long enough either. Mm. So, so. Oh, oh, hi. Also, hi, Moonlight. Moon and I, how the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden. Nice to meet you. How you doing today? So this is too centered and I feel like it being too centered makes it look like a nose no matter what I do. So I'm going to move it. I'm going to move you like right here because you look maybe even like one over. Actually, I think that would be even better if I moved it like one over. So I could do this. There we go. But then I know, right? It, it totally does look like a mustache, doesn't it? Ah! <laughs> okay. So there we have like a chimney style thing over here. And then we have like another chimney on the other side. So now one of the things that I have to decide is like what kind of windows I want to have all around the house. I feel like those look really cool. I can take those off. I think it looks nice there. You don't need to feel bad about the build because one of the coolest and most dynamic builds I've ever seen. Thanks, Cricket. I'm glad you like it. I apparently know how to drink water because I spilled it all over myself, but it's fine. It's fine. I routinely drink water clearly, as you can see. So I could do like a... Oh, wait, I cured your migraine. No, wait, what? <laughs> All day long has been killing me. No, I'm so sorry. And suddenly you've relief. Oh, goodness. Well, hey, I'm glad you feel better, though, Oppo. I am. So this, I wonder. No, those ones don't really look good either. I think this is going to come together a lot better. <sighs> okay, I want your honest opinion, you guys. I'm struggling a lot with these windows. What if I did... something like this? all up and down all of this. I think it could look really cool if oh, maybe I need to get over the fact that like the windows are just very busy looking and then embrace it kind of thing because like the mag I don't know the magical window panes and everything else kind of flows really cool together. Ooh, I don't know what I want to do. I'll see. So let's try these being here and then I'll do that one there. Actually, no, I do like these windows being like kind of symmetrical here. I know the stained glass ones, the stained glass ones are really pretty. I agree. 
they are i love them as like feature points though like this or even here and here so that way it covers up the hole a little bit i don't know if i like this one here though i don't know what i want to do with that yet Yeah, like the big purple ones. Yeah, I'm with you. I adore those as well. Those are going to be super cool, though. So I have like this entire area. Something to figure out with this. Um... I just feel like this doesn't lend itself well to this spot. Able to be, see better once you have brick siding. Yeah, yep. Definitely we'll be able to see a little bit better and see how it feels. Because I think I'm going to go for like a nice gray because I don't think we have a lot of purple options, you know, or even like a blue. Maybe. Like a light, almost like a like a purpley blue color. Oh, I'm modding an attic CC. I'm in love. That's so fun. I'm glad that you've uh, I'm glad that you found something like a way that you want to play your game and, and a way that's enjoyment enjoyable to you. That's wonderful. Thanks so much for sharing that, too. That's so cool. I think these windows are fun. It's kind of growing on me, though. I was really hesitant with using so many of them at first. But it is growing on me. Hmm. So here I do have like this big porch that's kind of like slewing across here. I don't know. I do like this being up by one. Maybe the sim works as a stained glass maker. Gotta show off your wares, right? Yes. Maybe you do. All crafted and magic and stuff. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. But this is definitely a mansion. That is without a question in my head. This is a mansion. Hmm. And then here's like this piece that I feel like we need to do something with clearly, obviously. Very, very obviously. Um, maybe I can make it like this or do something like on the corners instead. And I can mess with these a little bit too. Oh God, they're so skinny. And for what? Is that weird? I think it looks a little weird, but like, I don't know. The gold railing looks a little off on the black windows, but otherwise the build is looking good. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, the, the gold railing is going to change color. I think you're right, though. The sunroom for that bump out. Ooh. There's an idea. There's a plan. I love that idea. <gasps> okay, wait. Oh, and it's like a really, oh, that could be so cool. So you see what I'm doing? Um, It could be like a fireplace. Boom, chimney. It makes sense suddenly. Yeah, fireplace against that divider. You got it. That is exactly what I'm thinking of, Chirpy. Yes, so because it like sticks through the roof, like the ceiling and stuff. Obviously, the lighting's a little bit weird right now, but I think we can deal with that at the moment. But I think that's fun. Um, I really like the porch, though. That turned out super cool. I was struggling a lot with that in the beginning, but I think it turned out pretty nice. Should we do something along the side of this? I don't necessarily like want to like roof it. 
But what if we did something like this? I don't know how I would do it or connect it to this in the first place. Anything, but I think it would be interesting. If it is something. Hey, Huffle, welcome on in. I'm so glad to see you. Thanks for stopping by. I can never get the glass roof ties to work for any of my builds. Oh, really? I th sometimes they can be finicky, so I understand that for sure. I don't know. Should I? Make an attempt. Um, right. Yes, this could totally be where they park like all the brooms and bikes. I agree with you. That could be fun. Not bad. All right, I'm feeling comfortable with this idea of this being like right here. Joey, look, yes, this is, they're totally gonna have a potions room. It's probably gonna be like right off the kitchen because I think that'd be neat. Like, so then this goes here and then I can do like some sort of like a wall or plants or something, or even like the big cypress trees just lined up back here. So for some room, how about filling the walls with windows like a greenhouse? Oh, Fedra, that's a good idea. So then instead of having like the fireplace face that way, we could have the fireplace face this way, which I'm also game for. And then there's like, oh my God, wait, I have an idea. I have a plan. Now it's a matter of like which windows or which doors I want to use. Um, we will see in a moment. So it's like a big thing. I don't know. Um, greenhouse thing. Greenhouse! I love it. Should I do... Should I get rid of these corner windows? I mean, they're really cool. But also, like... I feel like it's just not gonna vibe well for us. And then especially if I do something like picking the black ones. Also, by the way, I'm going to save. Make sure to save your game. QR code on moon. So I am I am sponsored by a company named Ooh. So Oohs are kind of like a... I like to compare them a little bit to TikTok. They have, they're a little bit different, however. Um. So instead of focusing on like viral content, it focuses on like interacting with one another. So we can play like fun little games. Um, you can answer like a question or show me stuff that I, like whatever I'm asking you. It's really neat. Corners or use them somewhere else. I'm begging. Keep the corners or use them somewhere else. Okay. Uh... But yeah, ooh is a really, really cute way to kind of just interact with each other, get to know each other differently. Um... It's a really cute app. Right now, it's only available on iOS, though. Uh, but they are working on making like an Android version. So if that's something that you're interested in. There's a lot of other content creators on there, such as like Lil Sim or not, not Simsy, sorry, Shella's on there. Uh, Spring Sims, Let's Build Houses. But there's so many other content creators, too. So if you vibe with any of those, you can also get on there, too. And support them as well. In one fell swoop. They all post a lot of really cute, fun games together, too. <clears throat> Mivyard. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mivyard's on there, too. Yep, she is. Um. Yeah, lots of other people. Lots and lots. Uh, Android won't scan QR codes, but is it free? It is completely free. Uh, it's not available on Android yet, but they are developing a version um, of it. But it's not quite there yet. I don't like this with Eves at all. Um, Son of a biscuit, this is going to be hard.
Jensen, these windows are from Realm of Magic. Or where these ones are from. Shoot. I don't like the eaves on this one. Uh, and I think it looks dumb. Ah! Oh, shoot! Ads! I will pause my game. We'll be right back, guys. <clears throat> Something's got to change with this roof. Oil. Oil pause. Oil. <laughs> exactly. You got it. Man, something's got to change about this house. I don't know what it is. Maybe some more classical wall, tall wall windows for the sunroom, right? Because it just, it feels so busy, especially the roof. And I can't add like a... Um, I can't add like a sunroom or things to this or er, no sorry I can't add like a roof to it to be able to do the trim around the outside I could but it's gonna be annoying um honestly forget this pack but exists but seeing you build with it now I really want to use it nice it's a lot of fun it's challenging because like especially as a standalone it doesn't really mesh well with a lot of things but yeah if you kind of play with it for a little bit you can totally work with you can get it to work Realm of Magic is a little underrated. I don't see many four, Sims 4 builders play with it. I love it. It's so fun. Honest to God, though, it's it's one of my favorite packs um, to build with just because I really like the magical feel of things. You're inspired now. Do it! I'm so glad. You should do it. <laughs> it is a blast, though. Aw, Tenacious, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a really good day. We're currently working on a save file, and I am trying really hard to make a cohesive looking build at the moment. I wonder if I can do this. I have an idea, y'all. Oops, there we are. Yeah, if you're new here, by the way, we're working on a save file. My name's Zephyrin, my pronouns are she, her. And um, I guess this is kind of what we're up to. We're working on this. So welcome on in. I'm super glad to have you. Yes. Okay, this looks way nicer like this. What do you guys think? Could even do like those. And I want to see like what kind of fence could we have? We could also use like this one. Love. Thanks, Vulpix. I'm glad you like it. Oh, no, that one looks like green. Nope, I do not like that one. However... I almost wonder if I could just do like the white one, like silver, less busy. Yeah, I think it does look a lot better. I could even like bring these up a little bit too. I have an idea. I'm going to space these differently. Just so it doesn't look, it looks even less busy than it did before. And I think that's going to be nice. Like this. Like half tiles instead. And even like raising them up to the top. Color for the outside. I have not. Um, I want to try to find something that complements or pulls out the like purple colors though. Um, like of the windows. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to find that, uh, like do anything like that though. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Okay, that's like the darkest one I can get. 
blackish purple brick in realm of magic ah like a blackish purple i think you're right let's try to pick something because i feel like we're kind of at that point where it's going to be important for me to do that also i want to change the shape of this that looks way nicer way nicer okay so much better i love it I'm gonna go to the gallery. Yes, yep. All of these, all of these builds are gonna go on the gallery. I don't know what to put here. Oh my god, this is bothering me, you guys. I don't know what to put. So like, maybe. I don't know. We'll figure it out, I guess. I have no clue, but I don't think that's it. One friendly, from uh, like a familiar statue. Oh, that'd be cute. Also, by the way, I was going to try to do something with like the roofing here. And I don't know what, like, or how. Maybe that. Some awning action or something like that, right? I wonder if I could bring these in. I don't think I'll be able to get this to look right. It might be clipping inside really weird, but we'll see. But I think this would actually be kind of cute. And then it just like cuts off here. Maybe. I don't know, you guys. Um, the windows are oddly shaped there. How to, exactly. Like, and I don't like any of these. I don't even like these where they are right now either. Like, right? It looks a little chunky. That's what I'm saying. Hmm. Because I couldn't even really, like, do this either. Oh my god, wait. Uh, shoot. Uh... Lattice. I wonder how Lattice would look. I think Lattice would be so cool across the top of this. Like, just a good simple Lattice. Like, I'm not gonna do anything crazy. And then I almost want to do like that across this way. So then it just looks a little better than like the regular squares. Hi. Um, so what if you made the roof come to a point and slope back down towards the balcony? Ooh, so made the roof come to a point. So like where, what point are you talking about? Um... Like, where would it start? I'm all ears. So I can give that a try. Oh, stupid thing. There we go. Sienna, thank you so much for the five months. Welcome back. How you doing today? Thank you so stinking much. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. Thank you, thank you. Um, What if you made the roof come to a point? So the roof come to a point. Like, are you talking here? And then slope back down towards the balcony. This part's kind of interesting though, like this. Oh my God, that's so many months though. We're almost at half of a year. That's so special, I appreciate that. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a good day. That lattice is pretty cool. The lattice might look better than a roof. It may. I think it might. Um. Maybe halfway the lattice is now closer to the balcony. So halfway with halfway where the lattice is now. So like right here. 
So like, are you talking about adding like a new roof like that? Almost kind of thing? Oh, there's an idea. Hmm. But I also am, have kind of become a little partial to like this whole idea back here with this roof. That would be an idea though. So many things to consider right now. Oh my goodness. Also, ooh. I think that looks really cool. And then I think I actually lost this like smaller part. I'm gonna bring this up actually like right here. That's pretty fun. How it like slopes up like that. And maybe I'll bring it up just a smidge so like There we go. Ah, that would look. Yes, I think that would have been a good idea. Thank you for the suggestion for sure. I always appreciate that. Oh my gosh. Um. Okay, I really like this like piece because it offers some divide here because otherwise that's just too big in my opinion, like this is. Um, And then I could add like maybe another window or something right here. It adds to the feel. Okay, I'm going to try something here, though. So we do have like the same tapered look on this side. There, just so we can have that. How long are you streaming for? Um, at least another hour or so, at least. Oh my God, that's a nightmare. Oh, it's gonna make me do all those like individually. Oh no! Okay, so one thing that I, I have an idea on, um, just to like bring this together a little better so it's not like weirdly hanging off, um, is to bring this over like this somehow. I don't know, and then maybe... Oh no, I can't do that diagonal. Whoops. Well, I mean, there's that, I guess. Because that is a really weird diagonal. So I wonder how I can make this look cohesive. Maybe come like that. And like almost taper it back. I don't know, or do something like this. I don't know if this is making any sense. Probably not. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if we could do like this. And bring this over like that or maybe I know what I know I was already trying with this thing so maybe if I I know I like just literally did all of this but I think if I chose like a different design I'd be able to make this look a little bit better if I don't cross it that way so I'm gonna delete these and also get rid of that uh, I wish that would work. Exactly. Yeah, the diagonals are messing it up. I thought that that design looked so cool because I want to add in like this, um, like bring this together somehow, like maybe like that even because I think any kind of contouring just looks it looks good this way. Like it looks better than what it did. So I could do that and I could just opt for like a really simple like this. You know, just not do anything super fancy because of the diagonal and stuff. And then almost like. Delete these parts or something. Oh, what if I what if I made it have like an overhang? A little bit so it's not like exactly with the edge of it like it goes over you know what i mean i think that'd be kind of fun if 
ever thought using funds like that? Oh, Sienna, this is like one of my faves. It's called the, it's base game. It's called Smooth Keeper. Yeah, you know, and then hold on. I'll show you guys what I'm going to do in a second here. I don't know what pillars I want to use to accent this house. But I am going to like do these really quick. I think this just looks better. I can delete these by holding shift and gets rid of those problems. Ah, that's, that's, we're just gonna deal with that, I think. Cause I think this is like a, what? What? I'm so confused. Why are you doing this? Okay, thank you. And then I think it might still... Okay, we're good. All right, we're good. Um. Anyway, now that I have averted that crisis for a moment, um, yes, like put exactly like put like a little garden along the side. Hi, Harley. So glad to see you today. Welcome on in. So, um, also, so by the way, friendly reminder to save your game. Also, punish. How the heck are you? Welcome to the bean garden. Nice to meet you. We are currently working on a renovation of the... Realm of Magic Charmed Household. I am so stinking glad to see you guys. Welcome on over. Oh, shoot. I messed this up. I'm going to come here and then do this corner here on this edge instead. But welcome. How are you doing? I know, like, honestly, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be The Sims 4 without, like, a little wonkiness, wouldn't it? I agree. It's me a little wonky. Ooh. Okay, that actually looks pretty good, though. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy about that, actually. That's kind of fun. Um. I am going to delete this because I did notice this piece here. You sneaky, sneaky little thing. Give me my money back. You fee, you thief. Let go. Oh, well, it is what it is. I think it looks fine. Okay, so guys, real talk. I really like the idea of using black columns on everything. Like these ones. Yes. Oh, you ordered the water with tears stickers? That's amazing. I love that, Lala. Thank you so much for ordering a sticker. That's so sweet of you. All right. Let's kind of trim these up. On those. And then maybe I'll add like pillars here. I should actually be picking out um, very different parts of my, I should be picking out my colors first rather than this. This is not a good idea because I don't know like what color of um, like wallpaper I want to use first. Also, I'm going to delete these because they gave like too much of a churchy vibe and I didn't like it. So I'm changing it. But I like the idea of using like black accents and stuff because it's something I normally don't do. And I think that's just a lot of fun. And it's different. I do not do black accents. And I think that really trimmed it out to be so cool looking. Um, but we'll see in just a second. So, okay. What I want to do is I want to find like purpley, tealy, blue colors to like use with the windows and stuff. So what are we going to do? All right. Let's see. We only have Realm of Magic and base game to deal with. Hi, Robo. I'm really glad you like it. Thank you. So Realm of Magic. That's an empty. I'm sad. Realm of Magic has this brick and they almost have Joey said they almost had like a purpley color. It's like one of these. 
I'm not really seeing it. No, actually, the, Joey, the one that you're thinking of is, um, I think it's Get Famous. Dang it, maybe. Oh, shoot. Okay. Or is it this one that you're thinking of? So I like the darker colors more. <gasps> Ooh, this one's more of a red. Um, I use black accents on anything because I can't help it. My heart and soul is black. Nice. I love it. It's so amazing. I wish I wish that I could. I wish I were better with using black stuff. I'm just not. Um. What could it be? Hi, Ryder. How are you? I'm going to go filter purple. I think we have Jack for purple, though. I don't think we have anything good that we could potentially use. I have like this. Uh, the front door. The front door will be going in here. Maybe I should actually put that down. I got this far without putting the front door in. Maybe the front door will be right here. Or even like right here. I could also like angle it if I wanted to and put the front door on like an angle. That could be fun. So I could do this and then do like a big old front door smack dab in the middle if I wanted to. And do that because see, we have like this bluish color. And it's not sticking down. It's not sticking out upstairs. So I think we should be OK. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking, Ryder. How are you? Cute. I know. I think that's a good front door, though. I think it's perfect. So, OK, one thing I think I might actually use those um, things there, like those arches. We also contemplated using them here. Are these arches in these windows? Like with the, like the stained glass? Actually, now that it's like kind of coming together, I feel like it's a lot less obnoxious. So I'm going to go ahead and use them. I'm going to use all that. That looks kind of cool. I like it. I think it looks good. All of that, especially if we're going to get um, like a really dark like brick or something to go on here. I think if I did use dark brick, I know it looks very magical. Yes, that's perfect. That's exactly it. I don't know if that's what I want. Also, um, I could use this one. Or we could like filter gray or not gray even like something else. Thanks, Chew. I'm glad you like it. We're, what exactly are we working on today? We are working on the oh. We're working on uh, a Realm of Magic house. So this is the Charmed Household. Cassie, hi, how are you? I love you with my whole butt. How you doing today, Cassie? Oh my God, that's it. Immediately purple. I'm like, this is how we're bringing in the purple, guys. Look at that. Oh my butts. Okay. Oh my God, wait. Um, We also have other purple options too, but I think I like these shingles. Just because like how dark they are. And like how detailed and textured they are. What do you think? Um, we'll be right back, you guys. Hold tight. So Twitch plays ads no matter what I do because they're rude. So I'll be back in a bit. Thank you for hanging out. I'm going to pause our build so you don't miss a thing if you are unsubbed. I'll be back. Thanks for hanging tight. Off topic, um, but it is cold enough out that I'm cuddled on a blanket wearing a big soft sweater. I love that. That's so cozy. Thunderstorms happening. Oh, my God. I already feel them. 
I really do. I already feel it. My brain is being less rude. I'm I'm so glad, Cassie. Uh, between my nervous system, circulatory system, and reproductive system, I need my body to stop it for sure. Oh my god. It's having a gosh darn fit on you, isn't it? Purple on the stash. I hate that I know what you're talking about. Um, <laughs> oh, I don't want to do that in purple. I think I'm going to do that like in a different texture. We'll see though. I've never done this color of roof before, you guys. This is fun. So fun. Ah, I'm like freaking out, man. I can't wait. This is looking so cute. I also want to do like a different. I don't know what I want to do for the porch wall thing, but I think I want to do something different than what we have at the moment, and I don't know what I want it to be. Like, I don't know. Do I want it to be brick? Do I want it to be like a different brick? <laughs> You're eating potatoes to cope as one should. I think that eating potatoes is the most appropriate measure that one can take. You're stuck uh, back home in Canada for two and a half months. Oh my God, and came back to Hurricane Ian. Oh my God, Sienna. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. Hurricane Ian is rude. Calling it now. And potatoes are an excellent form of comfort food. I agree with that statement so much. Hi, Tootie. How are you? Oh, but you've been looking for those channel points. Thanks. How are you doing, Tootie Fart? I'm so glad to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for lurking, my friend. Hope you're having a good day. I really like the brick that I'm kind of picking out right now because the rest of them almost have like this like different ta like uh, brownish tinge to them and I don't like it. I'm not OK with that. But also, what if we did like brown on the back of that instead or like a cream? <gasps> oh, my God. What if we did cream? Like a good cream brick or a good cream color of sorts. Like a light brown. Or ooh, like a really light brown. They do have that cool blue color that's kind of throughout too. Um, an ad break screen. Nope, I am not. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> Apparently Hurricane Ian is supposed to come into the West Virginia and I'm like, I am going to get a lot of heavy rain. Oh my gosh, right? Hurricane Ian needs to calm his butt. Don't you think? Oh my goodness. What do we think? Like about a really, really light brown color for this. I don't know like what texture or like what shade or something, but a light brown color is all I know. Maybe not this one specifically. This one's like very yellowy. We could also do something like different. I don't know. Sorry. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you so Friends stinking much available. for the sub. Yeah. Oh my God. Welcome on in. Thank you for two months. That is seriously so special. Thank you for being here. Ian is kind of slapping around right now. Oh my God, really? That's so bad. I hope that you guys, um, that hope, I hope everything goes well for you guys though. I do. I'm in love with this plaster look though. On certain stuff, like especially if you go like this. That is so interesting. I know Florida has so much water. They do. Like it's ridiculous. I like that gray brick, right? I'm like, I need to figure out what I want to do down here. Because I'm thinking it's almost going to be like a, like the lightest brownish color that I can find. Like a very gentle cream. 
And I think we actually have like a brick tone. Is it this one that I'm thinking of? Yes, okay, it's technically the white brick from this one. Red Blade, thank you for stopping by. I'll catch you later. He's getting way too big headed for a dude named Ian. No offense to any Ian's in chat. I have a brother named Ian. I'm just kidding, Willow. <laughs> thank you, Simmer Jenny. I'm glad you like it. How do we feel about that? One with a multicolor gray. Hmm. Or I could just make it like blend in like what I was trying to do before with like a dark black brick color. Almost like this one or even like the one that goes with Realm of Magic and it's like black. Hi, Spice. How you doing? Welcome back. So good to see you today. We're working on this Realm of Magic build. The name Ian just makes me think of teeny tiny hamster named Ian and my cousin as a had as a child. Oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, I just think I think of my brother. <laughs> that's cute though. I love it. Aw, thanks. I'm so glad you like it. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm I'm also picking swatches now, so we're in for like a ride for sure. I am so glad that you're here. Also, I want to see if I can find like a blue color, almost like this gray blue to put as accents for things. I think we had something really close under brick or somewhere. I don't want to use like the ship lappy color. That's not it. I don't like that texture. Oh my goodness, like. I don't even know if it's technically blue. Thanks, Becca. I'm glad you like it. Thank you a lot. Thanks, Teeny, for doing a shout out. Go follow Spice, you guys. Spice is a long term community member here. We like to support our friends. Love small pets with human names. I know small pets with human names is the cutest thing. I wonder if it didn't flag it as like blue. So I'm not seeing it anywhere in here. I don't think it's technically blue. And that bums me out. I wonder what it would be. Aw, uh, trying to decide between a pickup line and a burn because you crave both. You're like, ah, oh, man, it's like a buffet. What are you going to do? <laughs> Hi, Smithers. Welcome back. I'm really glad to see you today. Claire, thank you for the lurk. I hope you're good. Can we get a shout out for my friend Claire as well? We have so many friends in here today. <gasps> this is the brick. This is the brick. Look at that. Claire, thank you so much for the seven months. I hope you're doing good. Thanks so much for stopping by. How are you doing? Oh, my Lanta. Y'all are so nice. I appreciate you guys. So what am I going to do? Do I like the black on these? See, like, I think this blue tone is really cool, but I don't know where to put it. Like, I think it's too meh to put on my fake pillar thingies. Like, I don't know what I want to do. Ooh, Harley wants a pickup line. Harley wants a pickup line. Hmm, what do we got? I know, I think this color looks really good because it matches like the, like this, like the, the thing, um, like the edges of the windows and stuff. I gotta go to sleep. Bye, Molly. See you later. Thank you again for hanging out with us for a little bit. I really appreciate ya. <clears throat> hmm. Ooh, 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 here's a pickup line for Harley. Harley, I know what I want to be for Halloween. Yours. <gasps> oh, okay. That's actually pretty smooth. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god. Too freaking good. That's a good one. I know. I'm like, dang. Mark that one down, somebody. Let's go. I know that's so smooth. I feel like I'm I feel cool right now, you guys. 
so so. Hey, Moth, how the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden. Nice to meet you. How you doing today? Um, welcome to Swatch Picking Simulator. I'm glad you've had us. I'm glad that you're here with us. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Welcome. We're building the re this renovation of the charm household that came with Realm of Magic. I think it's kind of cool. You yeah, see, it's better as like a background color to me. Like this is like not as like a feature color. Is that weird for me to say that? I think I'm on to it, though. Like that. Um, funny thing is you could be made into a burn just by changing yours to you. Oh, oh my God. Wait, that's actually big brain. Dave, Dave was my kitty cat. So I had um, another cat named Dave. He passed away October 12th of last year, really suddenly. He was my little soulmate. I miss him every day. But we used to have a C Dave redemption. And, um... We used to have a C Dave redemption and he used to come visit us and come hang out with us. He was so cute. But we miss him. A lot. So he's such a sweetie pie. I miss him. Poor buddy boy. Okay, so we're gonna mess with some of these pillars, you guys. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling her big time. However, I am gonna save my game real quick though. Love this brick combo, thanks. I actually kind of like it too. I'm like, going with these, There, that's not horrible. I don't know what I want to do for the top, and I think I actually kind of like this. However, one thing that I think I want to do There we go. I want to add like a, a balcony thingy, like this right in here. I think that's actually pretty good. And then maybe uh pick and choose like what color of spandrel we want to have it's like we have this but i think it's also too much of like that color if that makes sense like i don't know how to put it so do we want to use like a gentle gold color or even go with like more black but i think oh, actually this is what i have to do i have to go like this and i gotta pick that spandrel so I don't think I want to go with any like copper or gold colors. So I'm thinking of maybe white. The white actually looks pretty freaking cool. I could even maybe add like a little bit of that. I use that beige brick all the time. I never, I seldom use it. I like never use the beige brick and I want to like keep, I want to get into it. like this and then I wonder no these ones are too crazy I wish we had purple like I straight wish we had purple or like anything at all that spandle is precious do you like it yay thank you I'm gonna do this so then this limits this piece and it doesn't like stick over my pillars and stuff all weird. And I think that looks nice, maybe, potentially. Um, so you said maybe black. Do you think the black one for the trim instead of the blue? There's like several different versions of black. Oh, the black does look pretty sweet. I wanna move in, does anyone wanna move in? I'm ready to move in. Let's move into the house. Okay, this could be kind of fun. All right, I'm going to like extend these again. I know it's going to take the trim with it and maybe I might be able to I might be able to get this to work though. I might be able to do the trim just on like this one piece. Nope. It has to go all the way across. Mm, see, 
Oh, that purple roof is nice. Like I just got, uh, got back from stepping away. Yes, I'm so glad you like it. Thank you. I'm conflicted. Like I really like this bluish color that we have going on a lot. Like a lot, a lot. I think it looks really cool. Oh, wait. Um, however, this black brick, not a huge fan. Um, we don't have a black swatch on here. I was hoping that we did, but we don't. Let's go for black swatches. What do we have? Oh my God, we have like nothing. There's like nothing. Ooh. Tile is interesting. I don't think I've ever used tile on an exterior before. Yeah, the brick has a little bit more texture to it, though. And this one's almost like a brownish black, so I'm not a huge fan of that one. All right, so this is kind of where we're at at the moment. With this, and then I do like this plaster on the side. That's pretty cool. I almost wonder if we could do... Yeah, it does have like a different texture because there's this. That, that plaster isn't bad. But it's like, what should I do? I will change this one back up here or maybe even use like a different color up on top. Oh, you know what would actually be interesting? Oh no, wait, that spandrel, you can't even see it. I'm gonna change this to this trim so you can actually like see the spandrel underneath. I think that looks a lot nicer. Um, I was gonna do something, what was I gonna do? I was gonna do a thing. Oh, I was gonna add a uh, roof trim. So something that you can do to like add a little more razzle dazzle to the bottom of these. Um, and maybe even using like a dark gray color could be pretty cool too. I wish we had purple. Oh. Actually, that blue color is pretty slick. And then this might even look better as like this color again too. Cause that brings that bluish greenish color in more in different spots. That might be interesting. Yeah, that one, I like it. I think that looks pretty good. So far, so good, maybe? Very witchy vibes. I'm almost thinking like, God, if I should go more neutrals instead of try to bring in that bricky blue color again, you know? If I should go something more neutral, like a, I don't know, like stone? somewhere somehow or even like here I could potentially do that there we could do this on that one instead because this could be kind of interesting if I did this I don't know that's too busy too with those windows what do I want I know I do like the addition of stone, but it's like where, you know, that's kind of like where we're stuck with right now. But I agree, Cassie. That being a divider is cool. The stone is nice. Do you like it? Mm. I don't like what we have right now. I do not. There's something off about it, but I love the purple roof. The purple roof is staying. That's the one piece that I really want to stick with. Um, the addition of stone is really interesting. Okay. Or actually, I wonder if we could get away with like a different brick like this. No, I don't like that. 
Um, the greenish brick with the purple roof. So, oh, so. you oh you do really like the greenish brick? Okay, maybe, maybe we'll keep that one as like an accent for sure then. If you guys really do like that one. Nope, that's not it either. Maybe I'm just too gosh darn picky. That's also an option. <laughs> Question though, is that better? Like without the pillars being all lined and, and chunky like that. Um, stone on those pillar separators on the corners. Uh, with, yeah, without the pillars. Yes, is that exactly what you're talking about? I think I like did that right as you said. I'm like, mm, same page, I think. That is kind of cute, but also I feel like we need more of this like the spandrels in certain spaces. Hmm. Because now I'm almost like, hmm. Don't know if I love the spandrel. Hi, Ashy. Welcome back. So, so. Hello! Thank you, Sass. How the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? All right, yo. All right, y'all. Look at me here. I think this might be okay. Uh, Ashy, I'm so sorry. That really stinks. I hope you feel better soon. You really do. That's very unfortunate. If you're in a lot of pain, you should definitely talk to your doctor about pain management because I think you said you had surgery yesterday. So definitely give them a call, I would suggest. Thanks, Erica. Thanks, Blue. I'm glad you like it. We're picking wall swatches and it's a nightmare. Ooh, okay. I really like the implementation of this darker, like, flat stone, too. That was cool. Hold up. That is so interesting. Hold on. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get this to, like, look right, maybe? But in... Instead of using that like dusty blue stone, what if I, no, what do you guys think? Is this, I don't know. The cream is just too light with the riches. I think it might be. I think that's what's throwing it off. I think you might be on to something though, for real. Hmm. Yeah, so. I do want to pick something really dark to go over here, and I think I'm going to end up selecting something like a really deep, like paneled thing or even like siding that's like black or something like that. Oh, my God, wait. You know what? Not the worst thing I've ever done in my life. Maybe implementing this because it brings in that color too. That could be interesting, actually. Like it's more of that traditional thing. A traditional color. Uh, or traditional like texture, I, supp I suppose I should say. Ah. That's a thought. It does look rich. I don't know what I would do with this, though. Yet. We'll figure it out, though. Um, all right, guys. So ads are going to play in just a second. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me. I'm going to pause what we're doing so you don't miss a part of the conversation or a part of the gameplay. So I will be right back. Hang tight. Yeah, it feels like a Victorian, doesn't it? That's what I'm saying. All right, I'll be right back, guys. Thanks for hanging. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
me just a moment. Give me a moment. It's after midnight here. I should probably go to sleep. Aw, I'll see you later. I'll be streaming on Sunday as well at like noon. I won't be alive tomorrow, but this week I will be changing one of my weekday streams to an afternoon stream, just so you guys know. is definitely coming along. I really like the implementation of Hi Pixie. I really like the implementation of like the like the paneled look that we have now. But now we just need to decide how I want to like balance everything out. Thanks Heather. I'm so glad you like it. I appreciate that. Thank you. I know isn't he so sweet? Kipper. Hi, are we chirping? You chirp at me. What a good boy. He straight chirped at me. <laughs> Aww. I know he's very chatty. Hi, baby. And he's straight like he headbutts and like he dives his whole body weight into his headbutt and he like flips over onto his back for tummy pats. And he just did that like to my foot. He does that all the time during stream, you guys. He does. He's a doll. He's so sweet. Hi, baby. And he purrs like a motor. I love him. He's a good boy. I love him. All right, so I love what we're doing so far with this whole thing. Um, Something else that I'm like struggling a lot with at the moment, though, is like what to do for these pillars or if these pillars are like too big now. Because they're also 90 simoleons a piece, so I can probably like save myself a little bit of a headache with these if I pick something else. Oh my god, I wish we had pillar. I wish we had purple! Purple would be so good right now. Tell me purple would not be perfect for this. Oh my god, that would be so good. I don't think we have purple though anywhere in any of these. We don't. Oh my god, I'm so sad. Oh, hi Kirsta. How are you? Wouldn't purple be so good? Moonlight, that's what I'm saying. Time to CC shop. We don't use CC though. <laughs> these are game. These are builds that are gonna go in on your guy uh, on the gallery for you guys to download if you want for the um for the save file. But I'm a CC free creator. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm thinking about adding things like this to this. Here's I hope you're having a good day though. Welcome on in. CC is custom content. And thank you, by the way, to you guys who are um, hanging so, so. out through the ads and stuff. I really appreciate you for supporting in that way. It's really nice of you. Hi. Hi, Broad. How the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden. Nice to meet you, my friend. Thanks so much for stopping by. 
I also am thinking about maybe doing like black on these, but I don't know if it's too strong on the edges. However, I do want to like mess with these a little bit more. See what we can find from these bad boys. Maybe I will select that one, this color again. Actually, oh my God, wait. Maybe. That's too much blue, maybe. Ooh. Especially if I do go this color, I don't want to have the blue on the upper parts or on the trim. So then I think this dials it in. Um, custom content. Yeah. Custom content things fans have made. Exactly. Yep. Custom content things fans have made. So stuff that's not in the game, but people make it so you can like download it and stuff. It's pretty cool. The custom content community in The Sims 4 is pretty amazing. Pretty gosh darn cool. Uh, and Roma came with us so we all oh, you can go to the dark puck act for us. That's so good. Oh, you plan on getting the Sims when it's free. Good. That's a good time to get it. I'm really excited for you to do that. That's going to be so fun. I can't wait, honestly, because we're going to have the chance to meet so many um, new community members as a result of that. I also think I might do like something here because I want to do a little bit of work to kind of create some more texture on these walls you guys and I think I might do this somehow some way we'll see maybe we'll figure it out ah I'm kind of in love with the idea. So I did this on a different build that we worked on. I did it like on the other Realm of Magic builds where we kind of like block out the windows almost kind of thing. And I don't know if I should just avoid doing that on this or should I like rotate it to be like opposite? And then I'd have to like change this though. Oh, you joined the Discord. Yay! I'm excited. Thanks for joining the Discord. That's so much fun. We're planning a movie night in the near future here because there's some cool movies that are gonna be coming out. Um like, oh my god, what is it? What's the name of the movie, you guys? Uh the new movie with the witches and stuff it just came out like literally just came out today i think hocus pocus thank you yes okay see joey's got me covered don't worry guys joey helps me remember things but yes that is um a thing so we're probably gonna watch that in the near future so you guys can come hang out you haven't seen hocus pocus i've never seen hocus pocus either Michael hates it, like, with every fiber of his being, and he will let you know about it. So I'm like, eh, I've never seen it. So I might as well just give it a whirl. Might as well see what it's all about. I think this is kind of different and kind of fun. Hi, Rotten Lady. Welcome on in. I'm so glad to see you today. I do want to use the siding, obviously, which we are. Practical magic is also good. Really? Oh my gosh. Oh, Hocus Pocus is one of your favorite all-time movies. Nice. That is such a blast. Are you excited to, like, have you watched the new one? Um, the, the Hocus Pocus 2 that just came out? That's so fun. Uh, I just looked at my window and the sky is so orange right now. It's crazy. That is. How do you do a watch party? Um, I'm not sure on Twitch, but we're, we do it in Discord, though. That's a little bit different process. I share my screen and then you guys can like watch with me. So 
simple exterior trim. No, I'm gonna do this color on the edge of that. Cause see, it offers like a little bit more like texture and it's cool. Why did that roof piece not trim properly? I think it's because it like cut off there. So I'm just gonna pretend that, yeah, I can't see that. Uh, Disney Plus uh, lets you do that. I know Netflix box screen sharing. Uh, there's ways around it. <laughs> um, sneaky, sneaky. You can do it though. Hi, welcome back, Kemma. I'm really glad to see you. How are you today? Welcome back. We are picking swatches for like our little walls and stuff. So this is kind of where we're at at the moment. Picking all the swatches. Trying to make sure that we have a cohesive looking build. Just need a little magic. Exactly. Just a little magic. A little razzle dazzle. We'll do her. <clears throat> Ooh. Hi, Kemma, though. Uh, just ate and feeling good. That's exciting. I think I might have like, actually, Michael and I have not had like a date night together in a bit. We've pretty much been like on the go, 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 like work, eat, sleep um, and everything. And I might be like, hey, let's go get dinner together somewhere, like actually go sit down somewhere different and go spend some time together tonight. So I'm excited. Hi, Garris. How are you? Not super active in your chat, but I just want to say how to turn them uh, every day for the chill vibes. Thank you for doing what you do. Bonnie, thank you for your support. That is seriously so stinking sweet. I really appreciate that. Thank you a lot. Um, Lurkers are truly the backbone of Twitch. And I appreciate everything that you do just by simply being. So thank you. Bonnie, thank you for two months. That is the sweetest thing. Y'all are so sweet, really. Less than three. That makes my day to be in your life in such a special, unique way like that. You know, um, so thank you. Welcome on back to the Beanie Weenie Club. Thank you for being here. Garris, I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. We are, we're, we're working on this renovation of this um, base game and realm of magic only build so this build is actually turning out to be a that is expensive um <laughs> realm of magic and base game only thing uh how long will we be on tonight uh for a little while longer for a little bit not hor not like my normal time or anything like that but just for a bit just for a little while which excites me. Looks cool and homey. Thank you. It's um, it's supposed to be the um, it's a renovation of the charm household, which uh, I stripped everything down and I kept like the walls and stuff. Um, so that's kind of where we're at, and I'm just trying to like renovate and. Sorry, hold on a second. I'm checking something. Um, we're trying to renovate and uh, redo the entire game, basically. I am not streaming tomorrow. I normally don't stream Fridays or Saturdays. They're usually my days off. But um, <clears throat> I have a certain amount of hours that I have to stream on Twitch, basically. So I wanted to make sure that I hit those because I took a lot of time off earlier this month. So I needed to ensure that I hit them. And I did. So that's also pretty awesome. Pretty excited that I, I did because I took half the month off due to like family things. I don't know what to do for the black part. Um, Basically, Twitch offers like ad incentives for streamers. And if I don't hit those hours, then I don't get that incentive, if that makes sense. And like, I only pick ad incentives that are worth like the balance of the community. And I only accept an ad incentive if like it fits the balance of the community and like what I think would be 
worth it for me, if that makes sense. An ad incentive is basically like if I play a certain amount of ads every hour for however, for like a certain amount of hours per month, then I get, uh, then Twitch pays you basically based on that. Change your schedule. Yes, um, I will be changing uh, my schedule to have an afternoon stream during the week. I, right now I stream on Sundays at noon, but I'll be picking a day. I don't know what day yet. I'll have to decide. It might be like Thursday or Monday or something, but you'll know in the community announcement that I make in Discord and all that. Um. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm excited to have an afternoon stream. It makes me so excited. Discord. Joey, I made the typo work. <laughs> I did because you guys do it so often and it kills me. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm, that's so funny. I love that. Oh, you're in school during the week? I'm sorry. That is hard. I, I will be streaming my normal days like most every other day, though. Or my normal hours. So I'll have a confirmation of when that's going to happen um, for you guys, though. Coming down the pipeline. Gosh darn it! I want to pick swatches faster and better! It needs to happen. How can I? Base game sucks, y'all. Base game sucks. <laughs> I hate base game. Ugh. Do I pick the black ones or do I pick these? Oh, you just realized what's going on, Kirsta? <gasps> I don't know what I want to do, you guys. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I need to do it. These ones are very like these are too blue. So I'm almost looking for like more of a teal. Than anything else. But blue is too blue. Green is too green. Actually, I wonder if we do have like some sort of siding that I could pick from. I don't even consider looking at these. Ooh, they do have like this deep brown. Sunset pictures on Discord. Nice. That's exciting. That is really funny, though, that you guys both posted the photos to Discord at the same time. Ha ha! That tickles me. All right. So, um, how do you guys like the flagstone stuff? Does it look OK? I think I'm just being too picky for my own gosh darn good. If I'm going to be real. And then I also love like this paneling. I think it's cute. And I think it could look really nice. Now I'm worried that it's too blue. Eh. Eh, I think it looks all right. It's not going to be on the inside of the house, though. I might pick something else like this down here. I don't know. We'll see. We share a brain cell. Mars! Wait! Mars! Okay, that's amazing! You got promoted? Oh my god! Big congratulations to you, Mars. That is so stinking exciting! Oh my god! Screaming, crying, throwing up! Ah! Big hypes and hearts in chat for Mars. You should be so stinking happy. Guys, the lighting of this is not pulling like it is outside. It's pulling way more greenish on the outside, and I hate everything about this. Oh, oh. I'm going to die. It's OK, though. I'm going to go pick another area to work on like this like this and then i'll pick maybe like one of these little angled windows i was big anxious for no reason oh no i completely understand why you were nervous though i get it you know and it's poopy that you had to feel nervous though i hope you believe in yourself even more hush that imposter syndrome up as I, I say that, as I am always anxious and feeling like an imposter. 
Um, take it from me. <laughs> I'm really, really proud of you. Oh my God. That is beyond exciting. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> and I had these chunky pillars, so I'm just going and deleting those. And I wonder what next. Here, let's check this one. And let's see what this one looks like on the corner too. I think it'll look pretty good though. I do. I was all prepared to have a um, beg for fight my seat at the table. But they already decided to promote me. Oh my God. You walked in and it was like there and you're like, what? Hold on. Wait, what? <laughs> oh my God. Thank you, Amy. I'm really glad you like it. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. I'm trying to pick different colors and I am losing my stinking mind because it's hard. Um. Some of these stinking colors. Do you guys think that these look okay? So. I think they're looking all right. This whole big thing is going to have to be like that. And then these up here. Oh no. Oh no. That one big wall is going to be blue. Oh well, it's fine. I think it'll be okay. Oh God. Oh, it's really, it is really Swatch Simulator, Joey. It is. Uh, I can't even like exaggerate to you. Throw some notes away. Oh my God. <laughs> Love the color combo. Thanks. We're using the windows as inspiration. It's like got that teal and like the blue and the purple look to it. I'm really trying to edge into like that tealy color. Interesting. I wonder if I can almost use like a powder blue or like a really light blue. This other one, like what we have picked out right now feels more magical and like alive for some reason, like more warm. I don't know how to describe it, but I think you guys probably know what I'm talking about. So I do have a problem though. This big roof piece um, is not fun. So if I color it, it colors basically the entire thing. Or I guess I could do that instead. <gasps> Ooh, that's actually kind of fun. Or I could even do like this. And then we could do like the brick part behind it, maybe. I'm still super conflicted about like the flagstone stuff that we have at the moment, though. I honestly don't know. I like have this big, big, big love hate relationship with this build right now in the colors. Ooh -wee, it's hard. Thanks. I'm so glad you like the roofing. We're going for like this really whimsical feel for sure all of this and it's like a big magic Victorian mansion I'm not in love with this because this whole part is so stinking cool like as it is right now I wonder if I could almost take this and like do something weird with it like that and like arch it differently, maybe. See, then I don't even know if that makes sense then, you know, uh, I feel like the letter color look really nice with the color, the color on the chimney. Oh, like this one here. A witch's house with a witch from charmed right <laughs> the little pops are satisfying to listen to or are you talking about like the pops of the thing of the roof all right guys ads are gonna play i'll be right back in just a couple i'm also gonna go use the bathroom so i'll be right back hold tight don't do anything i wouldn't do while i'm gone and i'll catch you in a bit
I don't know what to do with the, that big roof piece. We'll figure it out, though. Hmm. We will figure it out. It's going to be hard. But it's fine.
I'm back. All right, thank you guys. Okay. I'm thinking about this build, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> um, What if I were to do some brown? I think some brown would be pretty cool. Even if we like adjusted and did something like this even, I think would be really cool. And like, because this is like the darkest brown color, I think, for wood that we can get, I think. I think, I think it's the darkest one. See, so we have this one, this one, this one, and like white. I think it would be really cool. Hi, hey Bugs, welcome back. I'm so glad to see you today. Thanks for stopping by. Hello, I'm really glad you're here. Thank you a lot. I do think that this brown color is really cool though. I also wonder like what the other kind of vibe could do. Cause like it's a little less like rich looking. I think that's kind of fun. A pattern with the green blue pillars with the corners, maybe. Yeah, the green or the blue pillars, like these ones. Is that what you're thinking? That could be really cool. Um, This one also comes on like a darker color even yet. Because this other one isn't as dark. It's a little more like warm toned. This one's more cool toned. Hi, Bolt. How are you? I'm so glad to see you today. Welcome on in. How are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. Thanks so much for stopping by. Happy Friday. The swatch matches the window so well. Yeah, doesn't it? This one? I think I'm kind of liking it. I think I kind of do. Maybe. Uh, not me being like continuously conflicted about everything. Uh. Ha! Let's continue on for a little while though. Let's see. Hmm. So we're trying to renovate this build, by the way. This is the Charm Household build from Realm of Magic. And right now we're playing with uh, swatches to see which what, what we want to do, really. The darker wood works well with the stone. So the darker wood, you think? So this one here. Looks good so far. Thank you. We're going with like a very distinct magical, like really, really, really magical feel um, for this house. Not me losing and watching stuff lose or swatches, right? <laughs> Seriously. Hi, Rotten Lady. So good to see you today. How are you? That one's a little like lighter, technically. Ah! Let's go over here. Because it does kind of feel like fun. I don't know. It feels fun. It feels a little different. These like swatches and stuff. And I don't know. Like, I guess I could do this where they're kind of. See, I don't like it. I'm like. <laughs> I'm losing it over swatches, you guys. I really am. I'm losing it. I can't. me when the sims 4 breaks honestly though because like i knew i want to have like some sort of like a a variation somewhere and i don't know where like how to fit it or where to put it like some kind of i know frustration has entered the chat it really has because this is what i get for trying to like pick different risky colors or do something different you know like it's just mm, it's hard really hard because I never do black windows or anything like I know that I could confidently pick something with like these swatches because we've done this before 
like the cherry ones. I could totally do the cherry ones, but like I want to do the black and the purple because I've never done it. And we're kind of stuck in this like whirlwind here of this. So that's kind of where we're at at the moment. <laughs> you felt that, right? Maybe one different thing for a bit, right? Maybe like landscaping or something or something or other. I don't know. Something's got to change. That's for sure. Or a different part of the house. Well, honestly, though, um, it is about 7 p.m. And I want to go spend a little time with Michael tonight. So I think I might call it, I might pause it and come back to this like on Sunday. Is warped wood. Yes. Oh my God. Like the warped wood stuff. That's so fun. I love the purple roof though. I've never done like a purple roof, but I think that, um, continuing this on Sunday is going to be a really good Thing to do at this point kind of come at it with a fresh set of eyes but i think i want to go on a raid i never stream on saturdays never ever let me see i know where i want to go thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with us i know where i want to go so thank you a lot i'll be back on sunday afternoon and I will see you guys then. And uh, make sure you stay or you keep your ears and eyeballs posted into Discord because I'll be announcing which day I I'm I think I'm going to change to an afternoon day. I'm still kind of like, uh, I'm scared. But yeah, we'll see. I'm switching at least one weekday potentially to a week or to an afternoon stream. Um. So yeah, thank you guys a lot. I'm going to go see if Michael wants to go grab dinner. I'm going to go spend time with him. So thank you a ton for being here, you guys. And tomorrow is the first day of October. So that means we have some Halloween emotes and a bunch of new, um, what are they called? A bunch of new thingies that are going to be coming out. Um, goals and stuff. So thank you guys for a wonderful September. It was really off to a pretty crummy start, but you guys were honestly super sweet. So thank you for being you. So I will see you later. We're going to go right to my friend Miviard. She is currently playing um the sims 4 and it looks like she's probably gonna do some like wildflowers and stuff so i love you guys if you guys have a sub make sure to copy and paste the beanie weenies incoming with the little bean gem and emotes otherwise the hand hearts will do um as i always say tomorrow is a beautiful day as best you do in it and i will see you on sunday so bye have a good saturday guys catch you later